Happy Thursday. How's it going? Oh, you know, I don't even have you guys up on the brand. I can't even see you. It's just not there. I can't see anything. Let's put it up here. There we go. Now I can see you, maybe, after I go to my channel. Creator dashboard. There we go. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's turn this Muzak down. Okay, there we go. What is up, everybody? How's it going? Click. How is everybody doing today? Happy Thursday. Today we're playing with something new. Something borrowed. No, no, this isn't a wedding. This is uh, this is fun time. Uh, we're back. We're back with some builds. This is the first of our week of new kind of new um, our new fall schedule, like NBC or ABC or whatever you want to call it. But our new fall schedule is here, and so uh, we're kind of getting into the rhythm of things, trying things out. Like a new birthday suit. Wait a minute, that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. Like a new suit. Like a new suit, we're just trying things out, trying to see how this whole thing's gonna work with this full-time content creator. I'll be honest, guys, today I'm tired. We've had, I've had two almost 16-hour days. Um, yesterday we were, uh, we're playing with a new toy uh, that you guys are gonna hear about next week um, that's gonna be super cool. So I'm really excited about that, plus, uh, the day before that, we basically had all, like, we had a bunch of team members come back. Um, and so uh, we had to do a lot of catch up with, like, stuff for shooting and things for videos that are coming out. So it's been, uh, it has been, uh, it has been quite the two days. I'll be honest, man, I almost did not stream today. But you know why I streamed? Because I miss you guys. And so uh, that is all squared. Blondie, would you mind texting me the winner names? I forgot to bring them. Oh, we do have the winner names. I sent them to Blondie, so we, we would not forget. Um, luckily, actually, sorry, to be clear, Blondie asked me, so uh, she secretly made sure that I had the answer to the question that I knew was gonna come up today. So anyway, we got our, win we got our winners here, so she's gonna text those to me so we can announce those today uh, for the 23070s um, from last, week, uh, last month. Um, and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, welcome to Roby Tech. Roby Tech is a show dedicated to PC building. This version, this episode, we actually now have shows pretty much every day a week except for Sunday. Monday, live PC build. Tuesday, deals. Wednesday's keyboards and gaming. Thursday's build. Friday, deals. Saturday, build. Sunday, he rested. That's kind of how it goes. And so it gets a little bit crazy as uh, we grow and uh, as we adapt uh, to this new world. Thank you very much, uh, Avenger Knight, uh, for the resub. Talking about giveaways today. So we got our usuals up for uh, up, up today. So we got, um, if we get two level five hype trains during the show, we'll give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. If we get uh, 500 likes on the YouTube stream over at youtube.com slash robytech, we'll also give away a 250 gig NVMe. Down there in the bottom corner, this way, yeah. Down here in the bottom corner, oh, let's turn the light on. Uh, down there in the bottom corner, uh, we also have that $50, 50s. So if we get to 50 subs, we give away a $50 Nui gift card. If we get to 100 subs, we give a $100 Nui gift card, and then it becomes a $150 Nui gift card, then it becomes a 5600X, then it becomes a 5800X, then it becomes a 3060, then it becomes a 5900X, and a 5950, and then a 3070, then a 3070 Ti, then a 3080, then a 3080 Ti, then a 3090, and then my house if we get 450,000 subs, you know, but that's how it goes. Hype trains are gonna be fun, so that is how that goes. Then lastly, for the month of September, September, um, yeah, so, yeah, hey, Jay's Bears, but it's free, so that's free, that, that's a 250 gig NVMe that you didn't have before, so there you go. Uh, also, um, why don't you do something for streaming setup, like streaming up, setting up OBS and stuff like that. Ooh, there we go, yeah. Uh, and then uh, lastly, uh, we also have, for the month of September over at Twitch, we're giving away one 3080 to one lucky sub over at twitch.tv slash robytech. So if you want to basically get a hold of that sub, if you want to get a hold of that GPU, the way that you enter is head on over to twitch.tv slash robytech, drop your free Prime sub. In fact, the guy who won in July, the 3080 Ti, ended up winning off of a single Prime sub. It's free, get your free sub, and then you got a free entry. Now, if you want to get extra entries, you can do things like gift subs, that gets you extra entries. And then subscribing to tier two and tier three on Twitch, which is five and 10 extra entries respectively. For all the details and all of our rules and regulations and TNCs, you can check all of that stuff out over at discord.gg slash RubyTech. We have all that info, but let's get the hype train going. And then after that, we'll talk about this right here, which is new from Cooler Master. Now it's not to say that we haven't built in this thing before, but this, this is different. 
This is the NR200P Max. And so uh, we'll be building in this today. I don't know how quickly um, this build is going to be. Um, so if we do get it done really early, then I've got my keyboard stuff here. And so we'll continue to work on the glorious uh, HK, uh, the uh, glorious keyboard that I've been working on. So we'll, we'll switch over to that um, if it ends up taking less than a couple hours to get this built. Now, somebody was worried about RGB, guys. I brought some RGB components just in case it gets a little boring here. So we've got an RGB in about two. I got to see if it works. And then we got some RGB strips. Um, we're not going to be changing the uh, fans on the air cooler or anything like that because we do want to test. This comes included with an AIO, so we do want to test the AIO and the fans to see what it's capable of, etc. So we're going to be adding any RGB in terms of fans and stuff like that. Again, we want to see what this little bad boy is capable of. Um, but yeah, this is this is the plan and uh, what's going on today. Now, somebody's asking what flavor of ice today. Today we're drinking strawberry watermelon. Um, so this is the this is the flavor of ice for today. We got that out. So it's I mean I'm I'm prepared if you are not prepared. But right now only Bdar JFRK has uh, kicked things off. Um, and then we've got, uh, and then a couple of people have dropped some bits, guys. Let's see if we can get it going and kick things off. Right now, the first place from this week goes to Glorious PC, who is the guys who are building the, 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 the keyboard on. So not even a member of my community is number one on the leaderboards this week. So we're gonna go for that. Dad jokes, don't worry, we got them. We're on the, we're in the, uh, we're on the, uh, the anti jokes. So I'll read some of those here in just a few minutes. Let's kick off Hype Train though. And then we'll get into the build parts and talk about what's happening today. Hi, New Egg. Oh, uh, if there's, yeah. Hey, there, BDRJFK kicking it off. There he goes. He takes number one. Merv, Merv 21 Shavage. Shavage. He's like, it's like James Bond. The name's Bond. James Bond. Some things here don't react well to bullets. Anyway, uh, he's coming in there, Mr. Shavage. Um, and he's dropping in with Prime. And then we got 10 gifted subs over from B Dark. He did. B Darjvik. I'm trying to think of how to say that. Uh, I was talking to some friends and we came that we don't think that clip sh chip shortage is over. It will greatly affect prices, especially. Uh, it's about to get work. It's about to get worse. Hadouken. Hadouken. It's about to get worse because it's not just now chip shortages. It is now also shipping issues. Um, so I expect the parts to get worse. Um, best parts list for portable PC and why? Uh, Tinted Bobcat Gamer. Mine would be the one that's uh, the latest episode. Well, actually, you'll see it in a video that comes out not, I think, late next week. Uh, it's our Meshalicious build. Um, it's the uh, A. Uh, it pretty much can handle everything, and it is uh, thermally awesome, and it's really quiet. In fact, if you want to see that build, uh, we use it on uh, custom keyboards and gaming uh, on Wednesday, and uh, it handled things like a boss. Wilbert Mania, thank you for the five gifted subs. You are incredible as well. And we have not, I'm surprised we haven't kicked it off. We must, we need a little bit more things. Um, uh, let's see what else. We need probably like just a couple more. I'm surprised that Hype Train hasn't started yet. So it should be able to start here like pretty much any second. First time chatter, people are asking, somebody asked, how can I get a reasonably priced video card? I've been waiting a year. Outside of Newegg Shuffle Man and Best Buy and EVGA, that's kind of it. There's not gonna be anything else. Uh, shipping is horrible for enterprise computer purchases already. Yeah, it's, uh, I do know that, so I have heard through the rumor bill that company prices are about to go up again because of the shipping. And they're not happy about it because they already feel like they're pretty much overpriced. So it's gonna be brutal. How dare you not have RGB in an RG build? But I know, but I add it, I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna add it. When is Scorekeeper's build being done? He keeps talking about it, I wanna see it, Jay Blue Eyes says. Um, so J, uh, so scorekeeper has been waiting for his GPU. Wait, you know what? That wasn't his GPU. I think I have all his parts. We're scheduling all the builds. We're scheduling all the builds. Um, uh, this, so we schedule them once, uh, early in the week. And so the next time we'll schedule builds will be early next week. So hopefully by that point in time, we should have some answer. Louis five gamer. Okay. One more thing. We start hype train Louis five gamer. Louis, Louis Gamer has gotten it close. We're one away, two minutes and 27 seconds. One more thing and we start Hype Train and then we can kick this off and start building our build. Hey, Roby, I got a 3080 from, I had two questions. One, would a 750 watt PSU be enough? No. Two, if it has three power slots with two VGA power one with a split work, no. You should use three. You should use all three rails. That's why they split it that way. Roby, if you give me college tuition money, can I buy a GP off? If you give me my college tuition money, how much is that? Is it, if it's like a hundred million dollars, sure. If it's like Harvard semester tuition, sure. I'm just kidding. I would not, I will not scalp uh, GPUs. I actually can't, it's against my license. I could actually lose my, my, uh, my tax-free license and all that sort of stuff. So I don't sell GPUs at above cost. 
Level four hype train already, 52%. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, $800 GPU recommendations. Ooh, Jeff. Um, the $800, you uh, EVGA is going to be kind of it, man. That's all I can say. EVGA is going to kind of be it. The best EVGA card that you can get for, you know, 800 bucks. Um, I, I still, I mean, we're going to be putting, uh, people have been asking forever. We're going to be putting an AMD GPU in with an AMD CPU today. Um, I know you guys have been asking for that. Some people have been asking for that forever. Um, but I just, it's really hard right now. Like we've now, we just got finished testing another one and we had a ton of issues with the driver. Um, and the other two is just, sorry, most of the games like deal, like they're just, they just don't seem to do it, man. So yeah, uh, so I would definitely recommend an NVIDIA GPU if you can get one at 800 bucks. But yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, Evo Cyber Nation gave out one tier one community sub. Yeah, it's it has not been good. What do I need to have a good PC? Well, Tiki, I would say, the thing that you need probably more than anything is good luck. That's kind of where it is right now. Who would agree with me? Can I get some amens in the chat? Super Doomsday, resubscribe with Prime. Nine month anniversary. Happy nine months, my friend. Hey, um, Tom, where's Tom? Tom, your birthday was Monday, was it not? We could not sing on Monday. I was told I can't because it's because of copyright issues, but today, we missed Tom's birthday. Uh, we birthed Tom as an AI uh, this week. Um, so yeah, going from there. Uh, is it not? No, it's 927. Oh, okay. Well, that's also a mod Monday. Son of a... Tom, change your birthday. Gosh darn it. How common are AIO leaks looking to get one yourself? Very uncommon. Very, very uncommon. I don't know if you should worry about that too much. Going on six to seven months. Congratulations, Grady. Gardy Luco. My PC is just going to have no GPU to work without it. I'd rather build my PC now and wait over a year and a half. Yeah, that sucks. Um, I agree. You need a you need good for a good PC. That is pretty much where it is, William Dawson. I uh, just got my first ever gaming and all went all out with a Gigabyte 3080 and a 5800X CPU. Congratulations, my friend. Guys, let's finish out this level five hype train. Um, 929 here. Happy birthday month. Okay, so we got a couple people having birthdays, sharing them with Tom the AI. Have you noticed TPM 2.0 issues with YouTube playback? Turning it off fixes all issues. Uh, to be honest, man, I don't turn TPM very much. TPM very, very much. Ever since I left Microsoft, I haven't had to work with BitLock or anything like that. I have not in, uh, tested it, but we can only find. If I've only had, I've only ever had AMD cards. Uh, thinking of Nvidia, now, I've had my fair share of problems with both of the cards. Oh yeah, I, I don't know, man. I'm I'm very. I want a, to be clear, guys. I'm not an AMD or an Nvidia fanboy. I want AMD to be better. We just keep putting them in to test them and then we keep not having the best luck with them. So, um, you know, some people have said, hey, the drivers have been getting better. I really want to get FSR, which, you know, again, everybody can basically put in. It's free, you know, it's not attached to anything. But right now it's, we just been, you know, I get have my tech guy come in here and literally just two, two things we've had problems with. Uh, hey, JKD, J49, thank you very much for your sub, dude. We're at one minute and 22 seconds left, guys. Let's get to at least towards the level five side. Uh, Ninja Panda dropping one gifted sub, and there it is. Two things I've been having problems with. One, AMD GPUs. Two, Aorus motherboards. In the last three builds that we have used Aorus motherboards, all three have failed. All three. We are three for three in Aorus motherboards right now uh, in, terms of, uh, in terms of failure. We have yet to have... Oh, sorry. So we're one of we're we're three of four. The one that we did in Covents went just fine. Every other one has failed. We've had some sort of just massive fail and had to completely replace re, 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 uh, replace the Bobo. So yeah, it's been it's been brutal. Uh, we are four minutes and twenty four seconds. Come on, guys, let's get the hype train out. And thank you very much to Gia for getting us there to level five. We just got to finish out level five and then we go from there. We are twenty four. I pointed in the right place. Yeah, twenty four. 50 guys do you think gpus will normalize their price someday yes uh it's probably going to be it looks like it's going to be mid to late 2022 <sighs> i don't know what's going on cole i don't i do not know what's going on it's been brave thank you very much for all the subscriptions saying my horse has sucked asus or bus yeah gif uh, we, we've had to go to asus or msi msi has been great for us too uh konimi 56 thank you for the ones the one month sub um just tell them to normalize where you uh, thank you very much, uh, Griggs, Griggs Carol. Thank you very much for that. I was trying to get a 3070 last Christmas to settle for a Pixel 5. Do the storage. Trying to upgrade my 1070 Ti to a 3070 because it's been four years since I bought it. Moot flop. I hear you, man. I hear you. 
Uh, what's up, Magna? How are you, man? Uh, luckily, I have a 1050 works perfectly for play Minecraft Rocket League. This is just lesson to keep your old PC components. Yeah, I think it was it wasn't just me, but I know Jay kind of said the same thing. Like people have said, oh yeah, I'm gonna show enough 88. Thank you very much for the sub. 10 month anniversary. Uh, somebody was telling me the same thing. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna sell my card so I can buy a new GPU. I was like, don't sell your card. Don't sell your card. Just keep working on getting the GPU till you have your new card, um, which is what you need to do, right? So for sure. Uh, yeah, I know. That's there's a lot of people, guys. I know a lot. I hear your pain. Seriously, I know there are so many people going through this right now. And if I could just fix it and with a snap of my fingers, like Thanos, and get like the power stones and make all the GPUs appear, I would do it. But I, there's just nothing we can do, guys. Nothing we can do. Okay, guys, we're almost there. 37%. Let's get it. We've never failed. Never. I mean, never failed a hype train. Don't let me down now. Don't crush my soul when I've only been a full tomb cut, full two, full time content creator for a week. Don't crush my soul with a fail now. I don't know if I can handle it. <clears throat> 2024. Oh, that doesn't spread. Outrage, thank you very much. B Dark, you've done a you've done a lot, dude. Appreciate you. Can we crowdfund my air conditioning replacement unit? No. 2024. So I do agree, Samsung and Intel, again, we'll have to see, right? We're gonna see, because Intel's launching their Arc, right? So we'll have to see how that goes. And that's supposed to be on par with the 3070 is the rumor. So hopefully between those two things, we'll see something super cool. JKD still dropping, trying to make this Storm Fist. Storm Fist for the win, coming through, trying to make things happen too. You guys are amazing. We're 30% away. Gino 989. Guys, we're doing it. We're doing it and doing it and doing it well. We're doing it and doing it. It's climbing. Anonymous dropping 200 bits. We're gonna do it. <clears throat> Anyone else rocking an RX 550? No, but that, I know, I hear you. Wilbur Mania 400 bits. We're a minute away. Gade Balaran with his one community sub taking it to 100%, but it didn't go over. People are, there it goes, there it goes. We did it, we did it. There, okay, so we've unlocked half of that. And somebody asks, somebody asks, why are we only giving away 250 gig NVMe? I'm like that, I'm like that guy on TikTok. That's why, it's just, it's, just, it's kind of a quiet time. But don't remember, subs are 20% off right now, and you are gonna get first entry into uh, buying the mats when they come out, which I haven't heard from them. I need to find out where, they were supposed to be here by now. So I need to check into that. I will have an update on, on Saturday on the mats. Okay. You guys ready to talk about parts? Well, first, let's talk about this. Hey, uh, Tom, I had a question for you. I think this is taller. I don't think, you know, at first, you know, we were thinking this is just an NR200P, but this is actually an NR200P Max. And the thing that's different about this is this is akin to a, like an NZXT H1. So inside of this, inside of this actually is a full, it comes, comes pre-installed with AIO fans, it's got a PSU um, already kind of built in. So all of that stuff is included with the case. Um, can you wrestle a bear for a stream? Oh, no, I cannot, scorekeeper. I mean, sorry, uh, Tented Bobcat Gamer. That would scare me. Wogman, thank you very much for this prime sub, eight months, buddy. So it's teeny tiny. Uh, you guys do remember we built Athena Nocturnus case in this, but I think this is actually taller. Um, and so, uh, I don't think this is the same size. Now, uh, the thing that's crazy about this is that, like, again, you guys have seen this. The, the thermals in this are actually pretty good. But, uh, you know, uh, NZXT has been selling a lot of NZXT H1s. We now have the height case that we just did the Revolt 5. Um, and so there's, like, these pre-packaged solutions um, that are starting to come out for people who want to build small form factor cases like this. And this is an SFF. Uh, PC, so it's pretty tiny, uh, but it comes with an 850 watt PSU. It comes with a 200, a 280, 240 millimeter AIO, pre-built, installed, ready to go, um, already pre-wired and cable managed, um, and it uh, and it comes with the case and a partridge in a pear tree. There it is. That's what it comes with right here. Um, so um, this is like it has plenty already packed in. Love this case. The other thing that's really crazy, or really great about it, is that also, also, um, it uh, it has a lot of options for basically installing. You can vertical mount. It comes with both tempered glass and a. Um, it comes with tempered glass and it comes with a perforated side panel. 
You can both horizontally and vertically mount your GPU. Um, and so all that sort of stuff. But I was curious, Tom, can you let me know uh, if this is taller than the, uh, this is taller than the uh, the normal uh, NZ, uh, sorry, the NR200P, because it feels like it is, but I'm not sure. It, well, yeah, this is the case, Edmundo, but I don't, I think this is taller because this, I don't, the, the one before, it always came with pre-installed fans, but I think throwing an AIO in that would have been not possible. So, hey, I'm glad you like it, Joker. We need to confess your love to the case, and yes, go over the top, please. We need you to confess your love to the case. I don't know if I, I'm going to confess my love yet. I haven't built in it. That'd be that'd be hard for me to do. Um, yeah, I picked up an RX 66. Went to install it, and the Mobo died. That's brutal. That's brutal. So hey, what's up, Electronic Grandpa? How are you, man? I keep looking for a deal. Black Friday and Cyber Mondays have always been nice deals. Close to MSRP. Uh, I would not say I will be. I will tell you this. Uh, I'm guessing that you will not find sales on GPUs, my friend. I think your best bet is like potentially move close to a micro center um, or wait for a Best Buy drop. So uh, where did Tom go? Just because I made fun of his birthday, now he's not Now he's not responding. Zach Jones, 93, what's up? Thank you for the Prime sub. The max is one millimeter deeper, but it's not taller. So it's a, that's it, that's it. So, okay, so it is the same. I don't know how this is gonna work. No, it's the same size. Okay, I thought Tom blew me off. Okay, well, let's get the stuff out of it and let's uh, then we'll talk about the components we're putting inside of it. I think Tom is lying. Tom. I, I did not program Tom to lie, but now I'm worried that Tom is lying. Okay, so here in the back, guys, we need to feed Tom. Oh, hey, what's up, Noiseman? Okay, right here is, uh, we got some screws. Wow, we got that little thing. My wife would be so angry if she was here. She's not here today. Okay, so here in the back, focus, camera, focus, right here. Focus, okay, I think it's focused. Okay, so here in the back, we actually, this is something else that's also very different, is that um, it has this little part here that comes out. You just unscrew these, like so. Oh, and then there's also two over here, which this is not on the NR200P. I kind of wish I had an NR200P right here, and now I don't. I wonder if I have one in the other room. Go look. I think I should look over. No Roby 2 tonight. Today is tonight is parents night at school. So she's at she's uh, dealing with uh, she's dealing my wife is a teacher and so she's dealing with that. So this see this slides open like a transformer. And now it's like a now it is a pressure cooker. No, I'm just kidding. It's not. Um let me see if they have Let's see if they have a um Let's see. Okay, hold on. I'm going to do this one second. Focus on that. There you go. There we go. <clears throat> I'm going to see if I have just a normal NR200P. I have a lot of cases in here. Meshalicious. NC100. I have more coming, but a Meshalicious. No, I don't have any NR200Ps back here. They're all, they must be all in the, in the storage room. Dun, 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 dun. Unfortunately, I don't have an nr 2 I have one at the house, but I have to go to the house. Okay, so yeah, I don't have one. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> okay, 32. Uh, guys, we are third, we are a ways away from the at least the 50. Um, for, so thank you very much for all that stuff. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what we're going to do here, so inside of this is this kind of pops out like so. And then you can see here, and we actually have, and there's the AIO. And the AIO does not come, it does not come with any, uh, this does not come with any uh, thermal paste or anything like that. Oh, and there's a clip, one of the clips came out. So one of the bottom clips is up. Let's fix that. Okay, there we go. Okay, clip's fixed. Okay, so yeah, you've got an AIO, power supply already kind of cable managed. And then everything kind of good here. Now this looks like it, this just, this should just, whoop, there we go. Okay, that pops off. There we go. Okay, so there's the top. So this is usually on the other, on the other one, this is just where you install the fans right there. And this one doesn't have that. Okay, so there's the little box thing there. 
Okay, and then again, we've got a, I think it's, a, is this a 280? I think this might be a 280 millimeter AIO. So this is not a 240, this is a 280. Yeah, that's a 280 millimeter AIO. Okay, so I'm sorry, I'm wrong. It's a 280 millimeter AIO um, on the top, which is, that's a lot of cooling capacity. Man, this is gonna be tight. And there's no easy way to get in on this. So we're gonna find out how hard this is to build. So let's go to, whoops, let's go to top down here. Okay, so here's the top down here. 280 millimeter AIO here at the top. Um, you can see, but this is like, in terms of getting this off, like you used to just be able to pull this off and you needed a lot of room here. We're gonna kind of see how easy this is to build. And what was that? Something fell. So there it is. There's our build right there. Okay, so let's talk about what we're gonna put inside this. Why whoop, let's not scratch this up there, Robit, Robitussum. Yeah, so it's half built. That's why I was saying it. This might be a shorter build, but then again, this looks like this is gonna be some, uh, this is gonna be some, uh, this is gonna be some, some cable management stuff that I'm gonna have to work through here. Um, which is why I was like, I'm not, you know, I'm, in terms of putting in, oh, and they're definitely, no matter what, they're like, oh, by the way, this also says, no matter what, I'm vertically mounting my GPU. Because they did not give me the option for horizontal mount. This, this, this is like basically, you're vertically mounting or nothing. So that is what you're going to do in this GPU, uh, in, this, uh, in, this, uh, in this PC. Okay, so let us, shall we talk about what we're gonna put inside of said case today? Let's go to cam link, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a good challenge, I think. A good challenge, okay. So uh, there's a couple things we're gonna be doing in this, but we're at the, at the, at the base of this, we're gonna start with the Ryzen 5 uh, 50, uh, sorry, at the base of this, we're gonna start with an ASRock B550 Phantom Gaming X ITX uh, motherboard, okay? This is where we're gonna start off with. Now, we are, in terms of the building and stuff like that, which I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button for. I forgot to hit record, so I'm gonna hit that now. But I remembered now. Okay, so like I said, at the core of this, we're gonna start with, a, with this, uh, with this uh, Phantom Gaming ITX motherboard. But as part of our testing, we're gonna be testing the full gamut of CPUs uh, inside of this build. So we're gonna be testing the Ryzen 5 5600X, the 5800X, the 5900X. And then depending on how the 5900X does, we may add the 5950X because we just wanna see how capable, Fifth, uh, having a 20, having a 280 millimeter AIO is actually pretty rad, but right now we're gonna start with uh, the 5600, uh, the 5600X and then grow from there because we can basically see um, how this thing is gonna perform. And so when we do the full review of this case, which again, it's building in the NR200P, but for the most part, like the only thing that's really changed is that we've got, you have to work around with the pre-installed AIO. Um, so it's, it looks like it's gonna be a bit harder than like say for instance, building in the NZXT H1, um, but, uh, it, but I don't know, we'll have to see once I get finished done. So again, we'll be putting all of these different CPUs in when we're doing the testing, but for now, uh, we're gonna start with the 5600X. Just jump right to the 5900X, you can always jump. So actually, it's funny, Jay's Blue Eyes, we were thinking about that too, but the thing is, is that the uh, 5800X is actually the hottest. So we technically, we should have done the 5800X, but we don't know where our 5800X is. So that's why we going for there. Did you send out a tweet that we are live? No, I did not. I should probably do that. I got so wrapped up in stream setup. I'll, I'll tweet real quick, hold on. Hey, you know what I got? You weren't selected for the new egg shuffle, guys. I will tweet that we are live. Uh, let me do that real quick. I forgot to do that. Whoo, some of you basically quote tweet. Live now, new case, new case, new dreams, new deals, and new jokes. It's all happening now, now at, now at twitch.tv slash Roby Tech. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Roby. Spell my name right. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm now putting out there so I don't get in trouble. And tweeted there too. Okay, cool. Um, yes. So I don't. I, we couldn't find our 5800X. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Let me see if it, it's only illegal to share Russell Beard, Alabama. Good. I'm glad you guys are really into this thing. Hey, Kevin. 
You don't have a 5800X in your office, do you? Is that a 5950? Oh, there, what's that? And it fucked. Yeah, we don't know where. Oh, you know, I bet you it's inside of there. I think we put it in there and then never took it out. No, some, oh yeah. So yeah, we don't know where our 5800X is. I may have to buy another one. Um, No, because we're gonna test all of the, sorry, they can all hear me talking to you, but then we're gonna test all of the CPUs inside of the NR200P and somebody recommended that we just put the hottest one in there first. That way we know that we're putting, right now I'm putting the coldest one in there. <laughs> it's only Kevin's time, guys, it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna start with the 5600X. I'm gonna look in the bat, the thing one more time to see if I have a 5800X. Let's see, 56, 5700G, 5900G, 5900, 5900. I have multiple, why do I have so many 5900, 5950s? But I don't have any 5800s. I feel like we have a 5800 sitting inside of a build right now that hasn't been taken apart. I think that's probably the reason why. Okay, so anyway, that's enough about that, guys. I'm back, I'm back, I'm a little distracted. Okay, so there's that. Um, for our storage, uh, it, depending on how this looks, right now we're gonna be using the WD Black. These are the new ones, the brand new SN750 SEs. These are PCIe Gen 4 NVMe SSDs. This is the one terabyte. These are like in between the SN850 and the SN750. Um, oh, thanks, man. Uh, Hadouken, I appreciate that. Um, well, I need to show that off on build um, here pretty soon. Um, so anyway, uh, we're gonna be using this. Uh, if, uh, if we can do add RGB, if it's possible, then we might switch this XPG Spectrix again, but I don't know if it's gonna be possible, so I have it here just to add a little RGB. We are gonna have RGB RAM though, and this is that Lexar kit. Um, this is 32 gig kit at 3600 megahertz. Um, pretty cool looking RAM. We really like the way this looks. It works with polychrome, which is why we want it. We, again, this is an all kind of polychrome build. Um, so uh, we did want to use that. Lexar is sending me an NVMe SSD to test too. Um, so we'll be showing that off in a future episode, but um, there is our CPU. And then we don't have to do a whole lot more because remember AIO and everything else comes with the build. So here we're using the, the ASRock. Um, this is their Phantom Gaming RX 6800. Um, it's a pretty freaky looking K, uh, free, freaky looking GPU. Um, you can't buy it, can we, Tom? Tom? Tom says, Tom literally bought them all and then used them to build his house, and so now you can't buy this GPU. So if you wanted to get this GPU, blame Tom. Tom is the reason that we can't do it. So it's Tom, and then I think Cole and Blondie bought the other two. Blondie uses it to filter her pool, and Cole uses it as the top of her cane. So if you wanted to buy the GPU brick, uh, if you wanted to buy this one, she, that's, that's their fault. You can blame those three people for literally buying them all. So that's all that thing right there. Um, so if you guys wanna get mad, blame them. And if I, you know, Blondie, not only that, I just want you guys to know, you know how they have pool filters. Blondie, every single pool filter that Blondie uses is all powered by an RTX 3090. I was like, Blondie, you don't need a 3090 for that. She's like, yes, I do. And so uh, if you guys have any questions about that stuff, you guys can talk to them. They're the ones who are doing that stuff. <laughs> so anyway, guys, these are the parts that are going in there. Not a lot because a lot of stuff is already included. So we're gonna get started here in just a second and see how the clicks are. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, she's got a fancy cane. That's what it is. <clears throat> uh, are there, you know, honestly, the RAM, I mean, again, RAM for the most part is pretty, they're all made by the same manufacturers. I don't know, I don't know, Maiden uh, or IC, I don't know if they're in chat, if they can look who the who made uh, this. This is Hades, this is their Hades stuff. I don't know who is the manufacturer for this one. Uh, but if somebody can find out who the manufacturer is for this, then you, you, that'll give you an idea and they could probably let you know. <clears throat> yeah, t guys, Tom's AI and Tom, if anybody, anybody I blame between, uh, between Cole, Blondie and Tom, Tom at least uses all of the features of his GPU to, to like control his mega brain. So don't get mad. Oh, and then we also have this RGB LED strip kit. No, I'm not gonna strip. We're, this is a strip kit, not me stripping. This doesn't, I don't know if this uses polychrome though. So rip. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and get this open and go from there. Top down, where are you? <clears throat> Yeah, Lexar is a manufacturer, but the wait, really? No, the the RAM has got the RAM has got to be made somewhere else. No, I don't think Lexar makes its own RAM, does it? 
I, if that's true, I did not know how to do it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that's funny. <clears throat> Just in time for the build. Yes, you did. You made it. Here it is right here. The build is in process, ladies and gentlemen. We don't know. We What we don't know, guys, is if, uh, if we're going to be able to uh, use the RGB... Uh, G, uh, RGB M.2. It's so tiny, so cute. Our little, our little motherboard. So we've got one RGB header, which is all we need. It's the only RGB header we need. But it looks like this is. I'm pretty sure this is where our M.2 goes. So I might be able to replace this and not have this on, and then just have our our shiny, our shiny, uh, our shiny RGB M.2. But yeah, I'll be honest, guys. The other thing too is it's going to be a waste because the, the GPU is going to be sitting right in front of it. So maybe I'll just go with the SN850 and, and you go from there because I just realized even if I did it, you can't, you won't be able to see it anyway. Lame. Can everybody say lame? <clears throat> Does this have Thunderbolt 4? I don't think so. I think it's USB 3.2 Gen 2. Yeah, it's just USB 3.2. I don't think it has Thunderbolt. There's not a lot of Intel. There's not a lot of, I don't know of any AMD boards that have it because Thunderbolt is an Intel thing for the most part. <clears throat> is there an in, is there an M.2 on the back? <gasps> there is, but you would be able to see it. Ooh, guys, RGB in the back. Yeah, we're gonna put RGB on the back. Bala, that's that's it. We've we've made it. Okay, we're putting the RGB in the back. You guys, be prepared. How to build a computer? That's right. Okay, so first let's kick it off with. Uh, Putting our 5600X. You know what, guys? Screw it. Eh, let's have fun. I'm putting a 5950X in this. We're gonna test it. That's the hottest one. Kevin, we're putting a 5950X in. <clears throat> Tom, change the build. 5950 putting a 5950X in this bad boy. Let's see if we can handle it. I just realized it's 280 millimeter AIO. So let's throw a 5950X. Boom. Well, I'll update the title. I'll update the title so people, this'll just, this'll bring you in droves, ladies and gentlemen. You'll be like, what? Roby? Oh, I wanna see this massive heat thing. There we go. Kind of wish we weren't putting a 5950. 59. Oh, it's an 850 watt PSU though. Uh, okay, hold on. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Will it fit? Is the question. Okay, we're gonna put something on deck. Put something on deck. <sighs> put something on deck just to keep with things getting crazy. We'll have this ready. I don't know if it'll fit. <clears throat> it's not polychrome though, so this is gonna. This is probably gonna cause problems. Now we'll stick with the, what we have. Let's stick with what we have. We care more about the thing, if I if, because we're doing polychrome, so we want to keep it the same. I used to have a ASRock 6800 XT, but uh, I don't. I have no idea where it went. Okay, let's keep it. Keep it where we're going. I'm just guys. We're having fun. This is a little loosey goosey today. A little loosey goosey with this build. Okay, here we go. Let's put our 5950X in here. I was gonna throw like an MSI 6800 XT, but then again, polychrome man does not play well with everything else, so we'll keep it, we'll keep it, <clears throat> we'll keep it real. Okay, here we go, 5900, 5950. <clears throat> this is the exact manufacturer of Lexar, Shengzheng, Long, yeah, but is the RAM, so Evo, the question is, is the RAM, because usually the Lexar will buy their RAM from somebody else, so. Uh, we're building on a pad. We're building on a pad that only influencers got. We have air version coming out pretty soon. Okay, so here we go. Here's our here's our 5950X installed. That goes right there. Now I need to see how this. Okay, so there's our 5950X in. Now, guys, just so you guys know, they are. They we need to put our own thermal paste on. So let's get our thermal paste on here.
Uh, 5950X on great sale today on Newegg, guys. Apparently, look, I didn't even tell you that. What's the sale? What's the price? I love this CPU. It's just, it's, it's, it's a bit of a flex CPU, right? Comparatively, the 5900X, which has like almost been impossible to get recently because it's been so, like the sales have been so good. Very even coat there. A little bit right here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. We've got our thermal paste on now. This is our this is our Arctic Cremique. So it's good thermal paste. Okay, let's get our let's test our clicks. Yeah, it does look like sunscreen. Yeah, guys, don't forget to do the thumbs up on the YouTubes. That's worth, uh, if we get 500, then we uh, we uh, we give away a, another 250 gig game me. No, you have, not you have not missed the clicks. Come on, guys, we are 15, what, 20? No, we're 15 away from the, at least the $50 new gift card. Let's see if we can get to the 50. Okay, I'm gonna pause the music. Please don't pause the music. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I'm gonna pause the music now. Okay, perfect time. Here we go, guys. Let's get the clicks ready. Big moment. Everybody's excited about this. See how our clicks are. This is that Lexar. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, duck. No, we're not duck butting. We don't need a duck butt for clicks. Okay, there we go. Here we go. First one. Like, nice size RAM. Oh, that was lame. 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 It was like the worst. That might be like the worst. Ah, uh, that wasn't bad. 93.4 on that one. The first one was like terrible. But there you go. 93.4. Not a lot to go in that one. So not a lot of not a lot of uh clicking on that one. Yeah, it was doo doo. I agree. I agree. The one that I did, uh, the one that I did for a build that you guys don't know, for a, for a case you don't know about yet, um, that I just did it not that long ago. It was incredible. Incredible. Okay, so let's see. I think I need to see here what I need to put on here for. Okay, so I think. I think this uses, let's see here. Okay, well, here's what we got. So the bracket we don't have to use, is it using the little Ys? It looks like it's just like a single mount thing. Yeah, this is just gonna use the, sta the standard bracket so we don't have to do anything else. Great, great, I love that. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, so here we're gonna install this top one and then we'll put the, uh, RGB one on the other side. Because this one's gonna be PCIe Gen 4, for sure. There we go. <laughs> wow. There we go. 
It's not out quite yet, Leo. Um, I do know it, it should be on sale. It probably will be on Newegg tomorrow. I knew I was supposed to go worldwide today, um, but just keep paying attention to the uh, to the Cooler Master site. I'm guessing tomorrow morning, <clears throat> but it did release the. It's supposed to. It was supposed to be worldwide today. <clears throat> but I know a lot of companies have been having shipping issues. So, yeah, it's a micro. It's a. It's a. A mini ITX board. Okay, here we go, guys. Look at it. It's the new uh, WD Black SN 750 right there. Look at that. This is new. There we go. A little bit of harder here. Okay. I think this, I actually am pretty happy that we kept this GPU. I mean, it's not a 6800 XT, it's a 6800, which is still fine. Um, the reason I'm happy about it though, is that it's just got, it'll have a really cool design being up there at the front, which I think will be nice. Okay, so there, our motherboard is pretty much ready. We don't have to worry about hitting the thermal paste. We're gonna go ahead to, just because I said we would, we're gonna throw this RGB NVMe drive in the back here. Gotta grab my, gotta find my M.2 screw in here, there it is. I wonder if I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go look if I have a, a one terabyte version, because that would actually almost be better. I will be back one second, guys. Don't panic, stop crying, especially you. You know I'm talking to. Stop crying, stop, yep, you, stop, stop crying. Oh, here we go, so this one here. Hey guys, I found something even better. I didn't even know I had this. I didn't even know I had it. Now the fun can really begin, guys. The fun can really begin. You know what I'm talking about? You know, you know, you know? <clears throat> what I got right here? You know what I have in my hands? Can anybody guess? When I come back and I look, we'll see if people guess correctly. What do I have in my hand? <clears throat> it's RGB. <clears throat> Stop ugly crying. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, it is a two terabyte RGB. Two terabyte RGB NVMe SSD. That is what we need right here. Hey, Green Skull, Green Skull's here. <laughs> what is up, Green Skull? So yeah, we got a great, we have a two terabyte RGB. That means it's gonna be crazy fast. Crazy fast. I didn't even know I had this. Yeah, that's a, fa it's fancy. Oh, thanks for the 100 bits, buddy. <clears throat> it's fancy. Okay, here we go. Oh, two terabytes of RGB, two terabytes of RGB awesome I'm installing on the back of this PC. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be incredible. Okay, here we go. Oh, Pookie! Pookie just fell in the garbage, guys. Poochie, I mean Poochie fell in the garbage, but I saved him. Poochie's been rescued though. Just fell in the garbage, that's so rude. Okay, here we go. Two terabytes of, what did I do with that small screw? Oh, it's still over there, okay, here we go. RGB-ness. <clears throat> Look at that, guys. See, and you guys were worried there was no RGB. You guys were worried. 600 people here, guys. 595 are on a way. Feels like a thousand person night tonight. Oh, there we go. Okay. Feel like it. I feel like when we're throwing a 5950X around. RGB good, yeah, RGB-ness. Oh, I don't know why I'm putting that in there, though. Okay, so we've got, that thing is thick, like triple C thick. Look at that. Like it's not gonna, like the, the thing's not gonna quite sit right. Okay. Now, we've got that. You know what we need? You, you know what we need right now, guys? What we need is a drink with my fresh and relaxing uh, sparkling ice. I don't know why I said relax. Fresh, fresh and, what is the word I'm looking for? Refreshing, fresh and refreshing. There we go. Hey, 
Thanks, Vags. I appreciate it. I got to stay hydrated. I got to stay iced. <laughs> okay, let's get this inside of our case. What do you guys say? Ooh, it's so heavy. It's so heavy. Unironically? Oh, nice. That's good. Thank you for thank you for supporting us. Oh, I forgot the door. Oh, this whole thing is like taped up in here. Okay, here we go, guys. Top down. Top down. It, it is it is pretty hefty. It was heftier than I expected. It's not because it's got a PSU installed in it already and everything else, so it's not it's not light. It's not light. Yeah, this is the NR200B Hacks. NR200B P Max. Oh, use your words, robes. Okay, here we go. Now, all of this stuff is, okay. It's not, you're gonna have to undo the massive cables over here. Ooh, which I'm actually not that excited about. Oh, oh, the other thing too that they did do, guys, check this out. They gave you like sleeved, like these like softer sleeved PSU cables, which is nice. So it's not gonna be as, uh, this is gonna be way easier to cable manage, which is nice. I like that. So these are, and they're short too. So we don't have as much cable management. It's gonna be a whole lot easier than what they're, when, if you were to use like their, uh, their SE one. And they have another set that are cable managed down here. Wow, they really, Yeah, this is this must have taken some work to get these this nice at the bottom. I mean, this is like really nice in here. Um, I'd like to meet the guy who like figured out how to get the people coming out of the case manufacturers to be like, hey, yeah, make it look this good. Okay. I'm gonna try and see if I can keep those loops. But for now. Sorry if I can get my head in the way, sorry. Ugh. Trying not to, just trying to get my stuff out here. Okay. What not to do learning right now, okay. Okay, got all the cables out, okay, here, there we go. Okay, now, put this over here. Now we got room to install our motherboard. <sighs> Teeny tiny motherboard going in. There we go. There! It looks so pretty. Okay, what do you guys think? <clears throat> who has been watching you, X Michael? I don't know who you're, I, I must have missed it. Yeah, sorry guys, I've been focused on the task at hand, which is taking some time. Yeah, I think I think it, I do, I agree, Duom, Duom Slayer. Okay, so here we go. We got our. Ooh, look at this! It's even got like. Check this out. It comes with a little purple. It's got a little purple uh, range right there, which is kind of neat. Um, dang it! I hope it's. Uh, I just realized this better be. Did, hey, uh, Tom, can you see if it's uh, Gen Four? It's a, is it a Gen 4 NVMe or is it a Gen 3 NVMe? Okay, it also comes with spare SATA and NV. So here, there's the spare cables in there, and then here's all of our, all of our stuff. I know I gotta I gotta get some of those. I'm gonna get some of those. I, I'm gonna write those guys and use them uh, on uh, the next keyboard one. Those uh, Razer, the Razer mobile thumb things. Those things look pretty interesting, actually. Hey, what's up, Speedy? Okay, so we got our little latches for this. Man, they gave you a, oh, they gave you a, th okay, I don't need this. I will need that. Oh, so this, this, yeah, I don't even need these. Uh, I do need those. I don't need those, I don't need those. And I need all of the stuff in here. I don't need this. No, no, no. I meant the riser cable, Tom. Sorry. If 
feels like if you had the money to get a few of these built really good, you could basically have a mini farm. Yeah, these are great for like, um, I think uh, Meat Beam, who's one of the guys who uh, built a PC for me, this is the this is the case I wanna put his kids in, but they have these new super bright versions of the case coming out, um, which is what we hope to put it in. Comes with like just enough hardware too. Okay, here we go. Let's get this installed. First screw. Screw you, motherboard. Man, these, you need, this is like not, this is tight. T-I-C-H-T, -T, tight. So you definitely, you got to work with this top mounted AIO here. I'm trying to see if you can build this without having to remove the AIO. I'm also trying to do this without having my hair in your face. Let's go in here. Definitely lined up. I might use this longer screwdriver. There we go. It's actually working a little bit better. Screw in the motherboard. Need another one. Another screw. There it is. <clears throat> I don't have Excalibur. We're not on Mod Monday. That's a Mod Monday thing. I'm not in their studio. Oh, somebody's saying something about uh, House of Tom. Okay, hold on. House of Tom was answering my question. Where's my mouse? Ro oh, there it is. It's way over there. Okay. Uh, the Ryzen Cable's PCI Gen 4. That is awesome. Okay, so now I'm less concerned. That's great. Thank you. Okay, so definitely need to put that in the review for sure. I hope Tom's working on the review for this. Tom's like, you better start paying me more. Uh, they do one slayer yes they actually already have them um the shipment's been delayed but yes they have super bright colors it does not it's not the kit like this um but they have a version of this um that is that uh, yeah and i will be building in them too so you can see them do one slayer and they have a pink uh a special edition sakura edition which is actually pretty cool okay there we go there we go these going there okay so there's the 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 drive is done. Did 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 Green Skull just come in and then leave? That's not very nice. I miss. I, I didn't get to say hi, but I appreciate him coming in and dropping some bits. That was huge. All right, so we've got. Hey, thanks, Najia, for the host, man. Appreciate it. Um, let's see. Let us. I wonder if the right thing to do now. Yes, I think I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with my gut. Let's go ahead and plug in. All of our M dot, our, all of our stuff here and get this done. And then I'm going to cable manage it here. I think this is just going to be the best bet and then do the AIO last. What's up, Ty Diet? How are you, man? Okay. So we've got our front panel connections. Where's this HD audio? That's HD audio. Ooh, that is like barely going to fit. Okay, so I'm gonna do that one last. Okay, front panel's right here. Question is, those both look like USB. Those look like USB. One is that USB. Okay, I gotta look at the book, guys. It's always safe. I'm never, is 200 systems built this year and I still, sometimes I get, I'm like, yeah, I need to verify. Backside view. 12. USB, 11. Okay, good. I was wrong. So I guessed the wrong one. So I'm glad I looked. Okay, so front panel connection is 11, which is the top one. There we go. Does this have... Okay, there's, this is HD. Okay, here's USB 3.2, or the worst connector on the planet. There we go. Okay, that's in, 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 
I did it! That's in! That's in! I did it! I did it! I did it! Everything's fine. I can retire! I've done it! <laughs> I did it! Oh. <laughs> Life goal has been achieved. <laughs> Go! Oh man. Whoo! Okay. Um, I think it does this have USB C? USB C? I don't see a top USB C, so no. This is the NR200P Max. Will we be able to plug in HD audio is a question. It's about as far away from this case as possible. Ooh, this is like, trying to get maximum distance here with this cable. Like barely. Wow, look at that, guys. That is like barely, barely working. Okay. Okay, so there's all that. Just like he's all that. Okay, now, spinning our PSU cables and stuff. Which, oh, clips on the other side. Okay, cool. There we go. Okay, now, those are GPU, of which I've got two. I got a SAT I don't care about, but where is my CPU cable? Okay, I feel like there's a cable missing here. I cannot do this without a CPU cable. CPU cable over here. No, oh, they gave me more SATA. And that makes me SATA so far. Okay, these are both GPU, which this is still twisted in here. Hey, J Blue Eyes, thank you for the sub. We're at 41, guys. We're nine away from the level five, the first 50. Let's see if we can get it. Okay, I feel like it's in here. Okay, there's that. There's that. There's another cable missing here. There's a cable. Oh, it's up here. Oh, it's oh, it's pre-wired. Check it out, guys. Look at that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I was like, where's the CPU? It's pre-wired. That's cool. It's right here waiting for me. It's like, hey, I knew you'd have to be up there. So let's just make sure I'm up there. Cool. That's pretty nifty, Neato. Thank you for that. Still kind of going to be a pain in the butt to get installed, but this is a split one, so it doesn't have to clip together. So we can do it in two phases here. That's nice. Yeah, I feel like I plugged the right one in. What is the bracket size for the CPU? What do you mean, Gabriel? Okay. Title is, title is clickbait? What does that even mean? What's clickbait about it? Yeah, big hand problems for sure, but let me get it done. There we go, okay, got that one in. 
what is this the amd it's it's an right now it's an, the the it'll do intel lga you you can do uh anything that this this thing supports both intel and amd and so the bracket so and it's an anything with itx that answers your question what gpu are you putting in uh <clears throat> Oh, not click. Yeah. I always miss the beginning of your stream. Any word on the ice sponsorship? Not so far yet, tie dyed. The cooler is 280 and it'll support, It'll you can do both Intel and you can do AMD. I've got the, it, so it comes with brackets. Here, I'll show you, here's a picture. So it comes with the bracket support for, it'll do 115X or 1700 plus uh, 1200. So. Uh, uh, 11.5x, 1200, and 1700, and then these are the Intel mounting, and then this is the AMD mounting, and then these are the screws for Intel, and then these are the and uh, Intel all Intel mount stuff, and that's the only thing you need for AMD mount. So, the cooler brackets, yeah, there you go, you see it right there that I just showed you. No, oh. okay, there we go. Now, let us clean up what we have here just briefly, just to make it look a little bit nicer. What do you guys say? Just to bring the overall elevation up, that's what we're working on now. Because you can still see some of this stuff, so I just want the parts that you can see look better. And then we'll crush it all up there. There we go. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, make it look like a plate of spaghetti. Yeah, that seems like not, that's not a rope, that's not the Roby Tech way. Okay, so we've got all that here. What I'm gonna do here is the cool thing, the should still just pop off on the bottom. Oh, okay, let me remove this one screw. I really enjoy this case for this reason. And this just pops off. And these are gonna go up and above, so I'm not as worried about them, but I can take this stuff, put this down a little bit. <clears throat> okay. This is all like kind of at maximum here. So. I want this to basically sit down here because I don't need it. And then this is going to sit across and I should have not done this yet. Here. 
go. And these will be hidden behind the GPU. And all this will be bunched like that. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, it should be. This is the the P. Yes, the PSU is module. I could just remove the. I could have removed the cable. That's a good call. But I'm already. I already got a cable managed. You know, you and Tomber. Tomber was the same way. He's like, you could just remove it. I'm like, what? I already. It's what? You know, I didn't even think about removing it. But these work really well, for, just for keeping everything kind of clean. So. There you go, see? And push this over so it sits nicely. There you go. And now you've got kind of clean cable management already. Okay. Now, see, look at that. Actually looks pretty nice. Grab our cutters. we go and again these are gonna be for our GPU so I'm not too worried about them I just need them to basically be able to split here what I'll go ahead and do is because there's gonna be two eight pins I'm doing this will be fine and you're not it's not like you're gonna be able to see it so hey five dollars thank you very much uh, we don't know J2. It hasn't been like bought Tom was looking earlier I'm guessing it'll probably like I would look tomorrow. You're gonna have to just look daily So it should be like any day that you'll be able to buy the case um, But it was yes, you're right. It was supposed to be today and then uh, but we have not found it on sale Tom. Is that still true? So six away guys we're six subs away from the 50 at least 630 people here today so far Cool. Thank you everybody for coming. Okay. Let's get our AIO mounted. <clears throat> so AIO mount. At least with the AMD, it's really easy to know which direction these go. The screw at the bottom? Yes, it is, okay. Oh, it's actually, uh... <clears throat> hey, 10 gifted sub taking us to 54! You to man. Okay, so let's go ahead and update the giveaway real quick to the next tier. Uh, widgets, we're at 54, sub goal. We're on our way towards a $100 new gift card now. We need 100, we have 54. There we go. Thank you, Bags, BR1, for the, the sub. And look at all those, the fight for the, fight for the top spot is, is uh, on fire right now. Do, do, do. Oh, oh, and BD. B dark B day B day J B darch fark B darge fark. I how do you say your name? Ten more subs. Now he's taking. He's like, nope, nobody's gonna fight me. He wants to make sure his 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 reign is supreme. Okay, there we go. Now let's take this and grab our mount. This goes on the top. Like so. I have a love hate relationship, love hate relationship with these kind of mounts. Oh, it's like you need like special hands, and once you get one in, it's like all good. But it's like just getting that first one in is just problematic.
Come on. Don't do this to me. Screw in. Get screwed. Pushes out like every time. Okay, got it. Okay, that one's in. buddy okay that's in that's in man those barely barely fit like light where's the other mount where's our other mount Am I blind? What did I do with the other mount? I'm gonna work it all without the other. Why can I not find the other mount? Dropped in case? I don't see in the case. I mean, I don't see, yeah, it's, it'd be pretty obvious it was in this case somewhere. Not in the case, for sure. Literally, it's like it disappeared. Where the heck did the build, where did it go? I definitely don't see it in here. I see the Intel brackets. Okay, I'm gonna start looking around for what I did with it. <clears throat> yeah, it's not the screw, it's the it's the actual bracket. It's like you kind of need it. And I can't find what happened to it. On the other side, you dropped it into the PSU. Okay, I'll look. Okay, I'll shake the case. Okay. Well, it's not in here. What did I do with the bracket? It's not in the case. Yeah, go back in time, no kidding. I took, what, it was just, it was just right here. What the heck? No, it's not in the clump of wires that I can see. I mean, it's pretty big. I mean, this is like... Pretty crazy to have that in the clump of wires. That'd be like impressive. Mount is near my other computer. Did it fall in here? Literally, no idea. I took it out. This is so random. I knock it off somewhere? I don't feel it in my pocket. So weird. I'm looking to see if like maybe it fall, fell in some crevice that I'm not looking at or whatever. And it's not here. No, it's like literally we had both of them out. They were both on the table. 
thought I heard something fall, so maybe... Yeah. I thought I heard something fall, so I'm gonna look on the floor, see if it fell on the floor. This is like the first time... Yeah. Fell, fell in a wormhole. Power. I throw it away? No, it's not been thrown away. Well, this is like never happened. Like I've never had like a whole bracket disappear before. <sighs> Stuck between the rad and the fan. Oh, you mean on the other side? Maybe? Ooh, shoot, try not to. Oh, luckily it's protected. It is not in the back or between the rad and the fan. I'm gonna see, yeah, did I take it in the other room is what you're, you think maybe I took it in the other room? Oh, check over there. Hey, you found it. Hey, there it is. Good job. You guys win. <laughs> okay. Woo. Woo okay. I was just about to say, I was like, what? Goodness, where is this thing? Okay, here we go. I can finish this. Jeez. Hey, Bags VR1, thank you very much for the gifted subs, man. Taking us to 77, guys. If we get to 100, then that means we'll be working for that 150 here at the, uh, for when we do the second hype train. That is not the right screw. There we go. This thing is like locked in in like a weird way. Like underneath in a, what the heck? There you go. Definitely not the easiest things to screw in, guys. Okay, finally. That's now screwed in. Now, let's see. Look at the fan headers on this because they're not color-coded like on the Asus. Asus! It was not invisible. It was just not on the table. So is it two or three? Two or five, what's three? So you want five. Okay, I'm gonna do it in five. Which one's five? Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna hook, put our fan header in. Okay, cool. Now, don't forget to peel this, robes. I didn't forget. Okay, peeled.
There's that one. There we go, okay. They okay, got it installed. One more of these to hide this little bit here and get this into single kind of thing. There we go, hides that cable. Okay, so AIO's in. AI, AIO. Our cables are managed. All our cables are managed now. AI, AIO. Okay. Let's put our bottom back on real quick. Apple bottom jeans, folks with the boots with the fur. Boots with the fur, sorry. The whole town's looking at her club. Remembering the words as I go. You guys are proud of me, I know it. No, it goes like this. There we go. <laughs> boats, boats with the fur, sorry, boots with the fur, sorry. Okay, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We are close. That means, oh, and this, this, the thing that's nice is that with this, so I'm gonna install one more thing and then we're gonna take a quick break, talk about deals real quick and then we'll get right back to this. But that means this is gonna be easier to install that GPU with. So that was a nice little addition as well. I don't remember this on the NR200, but because of this, makes it really easy. Wow, look at that. I love the I love the purple. That's cool. Okay. There we go. So now this is ready for a GPU. We don't have a whole lot left to do. And we're so we're going to go through our deals real quick and then we'll come back and finish the build. And then once we're done with the build, uh, once we're done with the build, yeah, I have done a water-cooled version of this. In fact, there's a really great pump mount location right here on the right. So we have done a water-cooled version of this. This could actually, I could if I wanted to, stick two more fans on the bottom of this case, and I still think the GPU would be fine. So you could actually put two more fans and have to just to help improve airflow. So this would basically help draw airflow through. I actually might do that just to add some... I'm gonna, I might do that actually before we install the GPUs, add two fans here to the bottom. Um, I have one more, I might have to move the fan header for that. So we have one fan header. I wonder where they plugged in the fans. And the only two is like on the back here, hold on. I was looking at this. Oh, you can actually run, well, what is this? Like this, this, Look at this, this is like not plugged in. Like, do I need to plug this in? It feels like this needs to get plugged in right here because this is twisted up. 
I think this has got to get plugged in, guys. Yeah, because there's these cables right here. Yeah, which like this. Yeah, this fan isn't plugged into this. Yeah, this feels like this needs to get plugged in. Yeah, that feels, so I feel like this has got to get, this has got to get plugged in. This seems kind of important. So let's plug that in. Because uh, I don't think the fans are going to spin. Glad I looked. Let's see what I got here on the other side real quick. Because I want this to basically just be at the GPU portion here. So I've only got like, I think I've only got two fan headers on. Oh no, I've got more down here. I've got two more down here. I've got one more down here. So I could actually hook this one up to CPU, which would be fine. I just don't know, like the pump's obviously gonna work, but now, okay, let's pull this back up. as tight as I can here. <clears throat> there we go. And zip this up. This is just this stays out of the way. Takes care of that. We've been dancing through the world alone lately. We've been trying just to make it through everything. I feel so out of place, feel so, feel so out of place right here. I think we need that. Trying to get this like to be as, there we go, okay. That did not work as well as I wanted. That's actually what I want. You want this to be super tight. Okay. What kind of, like, you're just looking for speakers, like just regular speakers? What do you, can? Uh, the other thing too is it's always helpful to say what you consider affordable, like a range, a price range. I mean, not that, I mean, sometimes people can help or whatever it was. It's hard for me to do that during this, but yeah, there you go. You know, people are asking the same question I just asked. What does affordable mean? I'm just trying to get this so it looks nice. There we go. Your fingers hurt watching this. It's actually not, this actually isn't too bad. It's just about keeping it clean. That's all I'm doing right now. There we go. And making sure the front looks nice. Okay. Whoa. Forgetting about Ooh. you're forgetting about that. Okay, so now 
That looks nice and clean up there. The question I have, right, is like what we need to know is I'm gonna do a test fit just to see what our GPU is gonna look like in terms of length and then see if I can fit some, fit some uh, stuff in here. Now, I do have, I do have these, which will actually help in this case. And these are right angle. So all I have to, so that way it keeps the, uh, so these are right angle clips. These do not, these do not come included, but these can go on here like so. If it's two right angles, we'll have to find out. But stuff like this actually makes it really easy because again, now I can just stick it on here and then there's almost like you have almost no room in terms of the thing taking a spot like that, which is actually pretty cool. So these are, again, pretty cool. These ones are from Comeep. I like having stuff like this on hand. It's okay, PC guy. Yeah, so they make it really easy and they don't, in other words, you have a lot more room for doing stuff like that. So, so we're gonna throw these on here. Let's test fit this. Um, and then uh, we will do the deals. I'm just trying to get to the point because what I want to know what's what I have left on the other side. <clears throat> okay, so let's grab our AMD here. I'm sorry. All right, yeah. And link. We're gonna grab our GPU real quick. And again, not totally sure we're gonna put this all the way in yet, but this is our AMD Radeon RX 6800 Phantom Gaming. Again, you used to be able to buy this card until Tom used it to program his AI. He just really liked the look of it. And then Blondie and, uh, Blondie and Cole bought the last couple, so sorry about that. So I don't know, I don't actually think we've ever used this card. <clears throat> but, oh, well guys, it doesn't really matter how much RGB is at the beginning. Oh, I forgot to put that. Is there only one and it's only at the top? Oh, there might be another one here. A four pin. That reminds me, yeah, you guys, I, I'm, well, again, this card is actually gonna be mostly RGB. Because this card's gonna be vertically mounted and this has a lot of RGB. Yeah, this has never been opened. Oh good, it is 28. That makes me happy. Okay, what do we got to peel on this thing? Not a whole lot there. We got some peel here on the back, put a top down. So again, this is gonna this is gonna sit right here, right? Which is gonna fill up the whole thing, right? So I mean, again, you get a lot of RGB because this is all lit up like a like a Christmas tree. And I like the colors match the overall theme, which I think it's gonna be which is gonna be nice, right? So we're gonna do some peels here. It's huge. There we go. There's a peel right there, and I think there's some peels on here. Yeah, Got a little peel on here. Peel, peel, peel. There we go. Okay, there's two peels. Not as many as some cards, but still a number. Okay. How are we doing on likes? Yeah, I think the GPU actually is gonna look really nice in here. I just wanna see what kind of clearance we have at the bottom. 
and if our fans are going to work with it. If I did some fans. Okay, so let's go ahead and just, whoa, 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 table, calm down. It's got a mind of its own table. Okay, let's go ahead and unscrew this. I want this more towards, I think, what do I want this on, hold on. That's right there. It's gonna be the back too, okay. Hello. Dropping it like it's hot. One more. <clears throat> Fifty and hundred X is Roby's favorite, huh? There we go. Okay. So this was on. Like this, I have some compression here, but these should just be able, these are really nice because they just bend down right into here. Actually really easy. No. Are they pinned wrong? The, I, there's two different versions of these and so I have, I used one Let's see if these are the right pins. Yeah, these are the wrong ones. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to just run the cables, which is okay, these are pretty deep. <clears throat> That's, it comes with two different ones, but we used another one on a different build, and so I was hoping that we, but these would work on like EVGA. I had an EVGA that was gonna stick in here. Yeah, the 180 degree adapters make a big difference. Luckily, this particular card has a pretty deep, like a nice deep sink for them. So I don't think it's actually gonna be a problem. Like I said, like it's a pretty deep bend here for these. Which is actually pretty cool. And this, these are, these are very malleable cables, which is also nice. Come on, don't be a pain in my buttocks. Come on, don't be a pain in my buttocks. There it goes. Okay, cool. Okay, so that should, I'm just gonna see what our clearance is. Our clearance looks to be actually pretty good. And this riser cable is actually really nice. Oh, look at that. It's really nice. Solid. Okay. I wanted to just get one in. 
And, ooh, that's not quite. There we go. I want to get one in and then screw this in to just see what our clearance is like. I'm just gonna seal this down and see how thick. What the heck, man? This is like way, oh, this is like way up. Okay. I've unseated this little mechanism here. Okay. Here, I thought this build was gonna be fast, but then again. There we go, now it's seated correctly. Take some finagling to get this in here. There we go. No. Okay, that's finagled in. these holding that in. Okay, so. There is the, that's what the build looks like. You actually have I'm gonna see if I have any fans that'll fit underneath this, this part right here. Because if they will, I mean, just that, I mean, that's gonna cause quite a bit of, that'll actually improve cooling quite a bit. Because again, it will, there's actually quite a bit of room here at the bottom for fans. So I'm gonna see if I've got any fans that will add to that. Nothing crazy, but something like, Good, now I've got these master fan halos. Put two in here, there's two in here. One, that's in here. Look here, there is one. I like these, actually. That's not what I need. Okay, do I have any, these are white, these are black, there we go. These are MF120 halos, we should keep it. Kind of keep it RGB here and keep it uh, in the family. Those would be neat though too. And these are actually really good airflow fans. Yeah. Okay. They might be a little thick though. And they're a little loud. Let's see what the CFM is on these. These are. CFM on these is, really? Oh, 47.2 versus 77.17. Okay, let's see if we can make these work then. To give it the best chance. And these are gonna be super bright, which I think will be cool. So I'm gonna try these Saturn. These might be too thick. I'm gonna try these Saturn. These are in win, the Saturn ASN 120s. Like very, ooh, you guys can't see that. Saturn ASN 120s. So these are 77 CFM fans. Very, very bright RGB. The case is pretty tiny, yes. And they are daisy chainable, which is nice. These are those in-win fans. And they have two simple plugs. I just, the question is, what's our clearance down here? So I could get one in, but two, I can't get two. Clearance, I could do one. 
here. Beginning to adding, even adding one, I don't think I, I'm going to look at these. Let me, okay, those are too thick. Let's see if I have something a little like low profile Noctua would be ideal. Some low profile Noctua fans, these are a little thick. And that's, I think this is going to be pretty standard for like high CFM ones. What's up, Zest Strike? How are you, man? We're just trying to see if we can figure out how to get some fans in the bottom of this build just to help improve airflow. And I was hoping to use these because they're super high CFM fans, but they're a little big. I'm gonna try these master fans and see if they'll fit. I think what I, I think I'm missing the fans that I actually need, which are those Noctua low profile fans. which would have been like ideal. Let's look at this, where's it, this? Let's see one of these. These might be too thick too. So these look a little thinner, maybe. This is a Cooler Master. They're Master fans. Yeah, you're gonna need, you're gonna need like a super low profile. See, so like here I'm showing you, you can see that it, the clearance is pretty good for the right side. You'll be able to, you can get one fan in pretty easily, but you need like a super low profile fan for the second fan. And I actually have fans like that. I just don't have any new ones. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably order some um, and it have them, they're Noctua and have them installed. And then we'll do a test with or without them just to see what the thermal difference is. <sighs> yeah, I think, I mean, I think that's gonna be the, cause I think having fans at the bottom is going to make a difference. I also wish that 90, I had those night, that 90 degree thing would make a big difference in terms of how the case looks too, because um, those cables at the top would just be hidden. I think what one of the things I'm gonna have to do to make this look better, I mean, these look, it looks okay, but Having some cable combs up here Del definitely improve the overall look of this. Okay. Well, I guess for now then, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw all this stuff in and then uh, we'll do deals and then we'll turn it on. And then we'll see where we are time-wise. If we still have time, it's only six o'clock. So, and the it's only lasted two hours. I might build keyboards for, I might work on my keyboard for a little bit after, at the end of the stream. But we'll do the giveaways before, and then if you want to stick around for some keyboard building and tech chat, we can do that. And then we'll do our giveaways and then all that sort of stuff. But if we want to get that last, guys, I will tell you, Hype Train, which is going to start here in the next 15 minutes, if we want to unlock that last Hype Train, let's, I mean, we're going to unlock that last Hype Train here pretty soon. If we want to have the best chance for awesomeness, I would get, if somebody could get those last those last subs so we can get to 100, that would be huge. And then you can unlock the 150. I never had that problem with the, uh, with the uh, OG Xbox. I know some people did, but I never had that issue. Okay, there we go. Okay guys, well there is the build as it sits now. It basically looks really good. It doesn't, not it's not sag too much. I mean, there's gonna be some pressure from this, but I think having those fans below will push on the uh, lower thing and that, that'll actually come up as well. So I should think it'll look nice. But for now, let's put a pause in the stream, yeah.
if there was a way to get that a little bit up. And it's actually pretty straight. A little bit there. Put this back on. Okay, so let's put this off to the side. Let's talk about deals real quick. Just run through it real quick and see what's going on. Let's see what deals Tom found today. And then uh, move on from there. Grab the, grab the old laptop, the lappy laptop. What deals did Tom find is the question. So for those of you who don't, a couple things just to remind people what's going on. So my name is Justin Roby, the host of Roby Tech. Roby Tech is a show dedicated to PC building, but we also have gaming. So just to go through the full schedule, uh, Monday, we have a live build. Tuesday, we have Amazon Live, which is like a deals related show. Um, basically, it's like uh, that one's usually PC deals. Um, so we find PC deals on Amazon Live. It's streamed on Amazon Live, but a lot of times it's also streamed here as well. On Wednesday, we have custom keyboards and gaming. Basically, we were working on a custom keyboard, and then afterwards, uh, where that starts at noon and goes to about 3, 3.30. We usually play a myriad of games, so it's a bunch, it's a variety show. With a myriad of games, usually we're showing new hardware, mouse, stuff like that. And then Thursdays, which you're at right now, there's a live PC build. Tomorrow, there's Amazon Live. And then Saturday, we have another live PC build. That one starts at one o'clock. Um, we have a number of giveaways that are happening here on the show. Um, the giveaways are pretty simple. The first one is that if we get two level five hype streams here on uh, Twitch, we'll give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. If we get 500 likes on the YouTubes, on the YouTubes, uh, yes, StockX is five, Bamboy. Bamboy, that's been, I've bought some GPs from them. It's been absolutely fine uh, because they verify that that is what you get. Um, you also can get a, if we get 500 likes on the YouTube stream, we'll also give away a 500 gig, a 250 gig NVMe SSD. And finally, uh, down here in the uh, corner, you can also see uh, we're at 78. If we get to 100 subs, we give away a $100 new A gift card. 150 subs, we give away a $150 new A gift card. Then we give away a 5600X, a 5800X, a 3060. And so it grows the more subs we get. We've given, we've gotten like a thousand subs before. Um, so, and given away like 3080s and stuff like that as well. So that's all happening as well. Now, lastly for September, which is happening over at Twitch right now, which means all subs are 20% off. We're giving away an RTX 3080 to one lucky sub over at twitch.tv slash robytech. If you want to enter to win, use your free Amazon Live subscription. Uh, so if Amazon Live, uh, basically uh, you get it for free. Uh, you, the guy who won in July won in 3080 Ti off of an Amazon Live subscription. And so I uh, ended up winning a uh, GPU. So uh, that is always a good thing to do. And it is completely free if you have Amazon, of course. Now, if you want to get extra entries for that, you can do things like, you can do things like add, uh, you can do things like gift subs, like uh, B-Dark has done. You can do things also like uh, bags has done. All of those things uh, give you, uh, all of those things give you extra entries. And then if you want to get some, just like a nice good shot of them, tier two gets you five extra entries on, on Twitch and then tier three gets you 10. So again, that's how you can get extra entries towards winning that RTX 3080. We announced the winners for that, uh, usually the second Wednesday of the week, a month, month. The winners for this one, for, for the 3070s from last one, congratulations to Pillsbury 101 and D Nosler. D Nosler, D33 Nosler, you are the winners of the RTX 3070s from last month. So congratulations to you um, for winning uh, those, uh, for winning those from last time. So anyway, guys, uh, if you wanna get in on that, that's basically what you gotta do for all of your giveaways. Now, the last thing we always do, and we take a break sometimes, it's sometimes it's basically, uh, we'll have a sponsor. We don't have a sponsor for today's streams. Uh, sometimes it's also, uh, it's also from, uh, uh, it's also for to go through deals. And so if we go here, and hopefully this works like it's supposed to, it's always a 50-50 shot. You guys see what I see? Okay, yes, it works. Okay, so Roby, robytechdeals.com is a website that we have, we run, it's run by Tom. Yes, I know he bought all of the uh, 6800s, but he's still good and, he, and you can see right there, he's not a bot. Uh, if you guys are always looking, if you're buying, purchasing, purchasing PC parts, great place to stop. He scours all the best deals on Best Buy, Amazon, Staples, you name it, he puts them all on one locations. And it's basically either you can get the deals at robytechdeals.com, 
or you can get them uh, by following on Twitter at Roby Tech Deals. We found some crazy deals on like 5950X. There were some really nice deals on the SN850. So he always finds those sometimes as late as 11 o'clock at night. So if you're, if you're building a PC, this is a great place to basically bookmark. Also, if you're ever looking, you're like, hey, uh, you wanna know what I, a stream I built or whatever it was, uh, all that stuff is right here under stream builds. Click here, you can basically click on that link right there and all of our stream builds, whether that's the, if there are parts links, the cheapest place to build them, uh, all the parts links are also there. So very, very cool place to go and look. Samsung. You see this link right here. If you want to just be a helpful supporter, go to robytechdeals.com, click on this Discover Samsung. Just click on it. It would help me tremendously. Just if eight, if 700 people would just go click on that right now, that would be huge. Uh, basically, they're about to have a massive sale. We don't know what any of the deals are, but there's going to be a ridiculous sale starting on Monday. And if you want to get first come, first serve, whatever that is, like tablets, their phones, old tech, all televisions, all that stuff is going to be going on sale on Monday. You can sign up now for uh, the deals for that. So go click on that link if you are interested in, especially uh, coming into holiday season, if you're looking to buy a new TV this holiday or anything like that, this is gonna be the time to basically check out that right now. So um, yeah, I know 30, 30, 3000 series Samsung CPUs. I mean, GPUs right there. Just kidding, there's no 3000 series GPUs. Um, but there is, um, there is NVMe SSDs and stuff like that. So if you're looking for like a 980 Pro, a 970 Evo Plus, stuff like that, click on that Discover Samsung link. Just click on it, that's all I need. If you click on it, that would be huge and very, very supportive. Um, let's talk about the deals that he found today and then trust me, we'll get back to the build and doing some more. Please, this is a huge part of just su uh, supporting me. Uh, this is my whole job. So I know sometimes you're like, just get to building, Roby. I try to go through this quickly, but you know what, he finds some good stuff. Um, so LL Series fans, uh, these are the best performing but loudest uh, Corsair fans are currently on sale, $79.99. Man, remember when these used to be over hundred bucks? So $79.99 right now, if you're looking for LL 120 fans from Corsair, you can use that promo code right there. Those are on sale for Newegg. Uh, the G27Q, it's 144 Hertz, 1440p IPS monitor. Uh, it looks like free sync, so you don't have anything like G-Sync. But again, on sale, if you're looking for a nice 27 inch 1440p monitor, which is my preferred resolution, $259.99 over at Newegg. Uh, Ryzen 9 5950, 729. So this is like, that's 70 bucks off. Wow, no, you aren't kidding. That's a huge deal. That's a huge deal. So $729.99, if you're looking for the high end, the same CPU we just put inside of this build, uh, that's on sale right now at Newegg. That's crazy. Uh, MPG X570 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. I've used this bo uh, this board a number of times. Really great motherboard. Uh, great uh, power, uh, sorry, uh, feature to price um, uh, cost right there. Um, and it's an, it's an X570, which means you got PCIe Gen 4 across the entire board. $189.99 over at Newegg. Uh, the new, uh, another not surprised to see this here. Intel Gamer Days still happening. So course i7 11700K, $374.99. That 11900K though price, $524.99. That is cheaper than a 5900X. Now I know that the 11900K still isn't, it better be cheaper because it doesn't outperform a 5900X. So the fact that you can get it for $524.99, that's a great price for an 11900K. So basically to walk away with the king uh, of the Intel generation, not king of all desktop CPUs. That's still AMD right now. Um, looks like you can get a 6900 XT for less than $2,000. That's pretty good. So if you're looking for a 6900 XT and you want an AMD, uh, that's actually a really good pro. And you get and you get Far Cry 6 and Resident, 8, Resident Evil 8 with your purchase. Uh, 750 GT, uh, 750 watt PSU for 84.99. Uh, it's an 80 plus gold. Eh, that's okay. Uh, looks like Crucial Ballistics 3600 megahertz RAM, CL16 for 169.99. That's actually a really good price, and it's CL16. So nice tight timings. Uh, Chromebook, if you're into those, and Ice. Tom, that's good. You can get ice, $10.99 over at Target. Get your ice, give it a try. Love to have you help us. We're trying to get a sponsorship from ice. I don't know why. Um, yeah, $16.99 is actually a really good price. I got ice, I didn't even know that was in there. So anyway, go check that out. So uh, all the stream deals are there. Again, uh, if you wanna check them out, we always try to find it and make it cheaper for you to buy PCs. Um, and then again, discover Samsung event. Just click on that link. Just, it's all you gotta do. That's a huge thing and a help support for me if you just go click on it. And then if you could sign up, yeah, you might end up with some really great deals and end up with stuff. The sale starts uh, on Monday. So you only have a couple more days to sign up and you only are gonna get the deals through uh, the, uh, 
through the early entry. So there you go. So that is it. Okay, was there anything that we showed? Was there anything that we showed that was like, oh, that's cool, Roby, or hey, that was a really good deal? A couple things I saw, 5950X for that price, huge. The 11900K, that's a really great price for an 11900K. And then if you're looking for LL fans, those are the three that I saw. Anything that you guys saw? And the ice, yeah, that's right. Getting the ice from Target, that's huge. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty funny. Good job, Tom. Good one on that one. Okay, guys, 75 of 100 subs. We're gonna be hitting the uh, we're gonna be hitting the hype train here pretty soon. And I got iced, so for 109. Okay, Neo Matrix, and it's okay. We we like I said, we show all sites. I mean, this this show is sponsored by Newegg, but we show them all. I got iced before he wants to pay, so he didn't see the ice before it worked. Oh, nice. <laughs> ice goes hard. Okay, so let's get this turned on. You guys ready? Let's put the case back together. And then uh, we'll get this turned on, and then we'll uh, we'll have to wait until uh, the second hype trade before we do all the giveaways. So you guys are gonna look like you're gonna do some. Uh, you guys are gonna look at see what it. I know I see the CPU sag, the GPU sag. That's that's some pretty hefty stuff. I don't know what I can do about it. I could I don't have a GPU sag bracket I could throw in there um, right now. And there's not there's nothing. I mean there's nothing to really GPU sag like to lock it into. But yeah, it'd be nice to have a little GPU sag bracket off to the right. If I had another one, um, here, let me see one second. <sighs> I do, I may have one and I'll just put it off to the side for today. It'll work for now. I got this, oh, he's got it open. But take the sag bracket out of this one. Which you guys cannot see. This, this sag bracket should work. You gotta make it look pretty. This sag bracket should be okay. Here you guys, you guys ready? We'll make it look good, don't worry. It doesn't need to go up a whole lot here. There we go. That looks much better. How's that? There we go. That looks nice. Okay, let's get the rest of this put back together. I did it! 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 Yay, Roby! Okay, there we go. <laughs> I did it! Okay, we'll, we'll get a zoo, yeah. Yeah, that's much, much better, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so we'll get it, we'll get it uh, turned on in just a second. <clears throat> oh, that'd be great, Storm Fit. Den, 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 Roby Ice Ice Baby, too cold, too cold. It's gonna be a thing now. It's in your head. Okay, so let's get the top back on. Oh, well, let's put the front back on first. And let's not forget, guys. Oh, I'll show it afterwards. Because uh, you, you guys probably forgot. Then. Probably, somebody probably didn't forget, but some people did. Okay, there's the back. I'm not gonna put the front because we'll pretend like the tempered glass is on. Oh, there it is. The build is completed. <sighs> still not meme worthy. Okay, that's okay. But I still did it. Okay, there we go.
Okay. But I don't really need this right now. Would a sag bracket not put unnecessary? No, it would not. It just basically lifts it on the other side. In other words, it actually releases the tension. So in other words, because the the Jeep, this is basically holding the whole card. The sag bracket actually takes the pressure and makes it even. Guys, 107 more likes to basically unlock that other giveaway. If people just want to pop on over and hit that thumbs up. That would be huge. Can we get a link over. Why is it? Because he's a game. Because Henry Cavill's awesome. We need beautiful people to game too. I mean, besides me. I know, I know. It's a tragedy. <clears throat> uh, Tigger already put it up. Just to go over and hit the thumbs up on the on the stream. Okay, here we go. Here we go right here. There it is. Okay. Last cable. Okay, here we go. And oh, it's already on. Okay, there it goes. Oh, look at that. RGB. It is quiet. The fans are spinning. This thing is like silent. Now again, the GPU is not going to spin because it's not, it doesn't have, it's not on, doesn't need to. Uh, will it post? That's a good question. Guys, also, who remembered? Look on the back. We got RGB. Right there, RGB. You see it? RGB, it's just point. <laughs> It's just pointing out there, right there. <laughs> it is so quiet. Yeah, the fans are on. And this is plugged in all the way, right? Yep. I am not. So we are good there. And it is a Gen 4 riser cable, right? Because that would be the only thing that would cause this thing to have problems. And we could put a Gen 3. I'm not getting a post right now. I'm like seeing like, no, no, it's all lit up. Oh, am I seeing any lights on the motherboard? I don't know if it has any, to be honest. Oh, I might have to flash this motherboard. I just realized. This is an older motherboard. So we might not get a post because I need to flash the motherboard. <laughs> I just realized. But yeah, there's, uh, I mean, again, it's on, it works. Uh, we just don't know why it's not posting. So, but we, it could be a number of things right now. We've, uh, there's, but there is the build right now. Yeah, it could be a BIOS update. Yeah, we have to flash the, it might need a BIOS update uh, because this is an old, like I said, this is a much older uh, motherboard. And then, so uh, we might have to do a BIOS flash, but I mean a BIOS update to get it to post. Um, not not as big of a deal. Yeah. Don't flash them up. You might scare it. There we go. <clears throat> so, but yeah, the build is done. It actually looks really cool. And I think, well, I think with the RGB, like I, one thing I like about uh, uh, GPUs like this is that uh, the GPUs like this obviously uh, look really good with um, um, look really good. Uh, 
vertical mounted. So I'm going to flash the mo I'm going to flash it. I'm going to BIOS fl flash update. BIOS update it. It's just weird because I'm used to f I'm used to the fans at least test spinning. It's not even doing that. But everything is plugged in and good. But there's like I have like no postcodes or anything like that. I can't tell. No, everything's. There's no like the motherboard is on and the. Fans are spinning. I don't know if there's supposed to be RGB lights on the, I don't know if there's supposed to be lights on the uh, AIO, but there's actually no, there's no RGB header. So it looks really clean. The GPU, yeah, that's the thing I'm, that's, I'm having the same thought, right? Like the fact that the GPU is not spinning at all. But there'd be no reason for it to not have power. All the power cables are plugged in. But yeah, usually you'll see some spin. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I say. I say the same thing, Hammer. <laughs> Let's take a look real quick. Make sure. Ugh. There's like anything loose at the bottom. So it's not a big deal. So we can do that. Because again, we can just remove one screw and look at the bottom. Just make sure everything's plugged in. Yeah, the GPU stuff is all plugged in. Like, there's not anything loose there. I wonder if I accidentally went... No, I don't think I could have done that. I mean, I can check, but... I mean, the only other thing I can think I could I could have done is I could have not plugged in. Like, I could have plugged... No, because that, that would have worked anyway. Even if I would have split the rail. But these are all... That's plugged in. Okay, I just clicked it again. Yeah, let's just turn it on one more time. Maybe it was just like that little bit. Yeah, it's not even spinning. I feel like it usually would just at least spin. Yeah, usually it spins. By the way, guys, hype train is just unlocked, so we can start that second hype train now, guys. fine I don't know what you're talking about how do you know that mr. dent it just it just came out this is a brand new AIO well here, here how this is what I do is I just basically put in another GPU real quick <clears throat> it's got some room so hey fallbound thank you very much McClavian subscribing with prime Check our GPU. Best thing to do right now. Yeah, it's definitely plugged in. And those are both plugged in just fine. So like both of these are plugged in and this is plugged in. There's nothing there. One second, guys.
Might be a GPU problem, which we can find out. Hey, tie-dye, we need one more thing in three minutes and then we will have hit it. Let's just try one more GPU just to see. Yeah, I thought the same thing. So we're gonna try a different GPU. Luckily, we have a, another 6800 XT and I feel, I feel like it's gonna fit. Hey, level three, uh, Black Rocks, Black Raws, Rose. Thank you very much for the gifted sub. Alvin Namos, thank you for five gifted subs. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, thank you, Tie Dyed, for two gifted subs. Uh, BDI, B Darj Fark, thank you very much for five more gifted subs. Fallout Bound, Malcaval, Mac McLevian, thank you for the prime sub. There we are, guys, 94 away. We're almost to 100. I'm gonna make room for this. We don't actually technically need this part right here. There we go, let's just take this out. Thank you very much for five more gifted subs, dude. That's huge. I see this one's a little bit higher. I wonder, let's see. Well, just a test, right? Man, that one like that one goes the distance guys okay let's just plug this in thank you very much we are level five we're almost done with level five guys yeah here we go we know this card well i don't know if this card works but we have used it before so it has posted before okay, here we go Yeah, that one didn't spin either. Feels like something's maybe wrong with the GPU stuff. Sorry, going to top down. So this, the, that fan did not spin. I'm used to that finning. Now, it could be the fan is not spinning because there's some issue with the motherboard, right? Like that is a thing too. I mean, it could be a motherboard issue too. Yeah, the RGB's on, but I'm not seeing anything as... Yeah, it could be the riser cable. Okay, let's let's keep going. This is fun, actually. David Rock, thank you for the gifted sub. Rose Ferry, guys, we are at 101, on our way to the 150 now. So we're at 101 subs, and we have, we're not quite there yet. Don't forget. Okay, let's do this. Could be the riser cable. Coco Shibiu, thank you very much for your one month. Okay, let's do this. And now, let's do this. I don't know if that's gonna, is this gonna fit? Yeah, 
Yeah, I was trying to see if I can get, like, put this in like this, just temporarily. What's the smallest card I have? Where if we use? Oh, that's that's a good call. Small card. Ninety-six percent samurai eritus. Thank you very much. Tide die Gemini. Taking a super close. Yeah, I could try a different. I could also, yeah. If this, if I can't get this in, I'll try, I'll try a different, right, uh, riser cable. But it would still. I feel like it would still spin a dunda. There it is, guys. A hundred. Okay, this is a very tiny card. Yeah, there's no way to get this in here. And again, if I if I stick a PCIe Gen 3 card in here, well, here, let's do this. I just want to try this. Because this is a less power, less power hungry card. So we could also test to see. Jay Blues, thank you very much for your support as well. He, that's huge. Now, this one I can use, one of these. Make it easier. Right now we're not going for pretty, we're going for just functional. There we go. Ugh. And then I'll try, after this I'll try a different, see if I can try a different riser cable. I'm trying to think if I have another. Yeah, see, it's spun. So it's definitely, I'm seeing if it, so that's spinning. Well, I'm not, I'm seeing if it posts, then maybe, but if it's not gonna post, then no, that's not it. At the end of the, at the end of the stream, Deccan, yeah, the riser, it's definitely not the riser. I'm not seeing a post at all. It could be a dead motherboard. I mean, it could be, again, we could still see the riser, but I need another Gen 4 riser. <clears throat> yeah, it could be a dead motherboard. Because I'm not getting a po well, yeah, that's the only, that's the HDMI. That, I'm not getting any post at all. And unfortunately, like, there's no way, but this is supposed to be a Gen 4 riser cable, so. Yeah, the board's lit up. But again, I've seen that before and then the board's bad. Yeah, it might be a BIOS flash issue. Again, this I, the good thing is, is this motherboard's not that hard to get out, but... Um, I'm trying to think if I have... 
I do, I don't remember if that was Gen 4 or Gen 3. I have a fractal, I have a fractal, I have a fractal, uh, um, I have a fractal, uh, motherboard, I mean a fractal riser cable. I know the one that comes with the Meshalicious is Gen 3. I guess I could just, for the sake of it, let's just try. This is not, this is definitely not Gen 4, just to see. Okay, here we go. One more time. We're gonna have some fun while we wait. Level five hype train is done. Man, that's so quiet. It's like it's like annoyingly quiet. Well, the problem is, is that for me to flash the BIOS, this doesn't have BIOS flashback. So we'd have to, in order to flash the, oh wait, no, maybe it, I can't tell. Maybe it does. I don't think this does though. I don't think BIOS flashback exists on Polychrome. I'm trying to see if it does. Well, I mean, actually, that that actually might be the fastest thing. Hold on. Let's do this. We'll go for another 15 minutes on the stream. That'll tell me if it's a dead board or if it's a, it's a flash issue. Come on, let go of the dang thing, guys. That's the 3800 XT, and I don't, it'll be, I can just get this on with the thermal paste I have just to long, get it long enough to see if it posts. There's enough thermal paste to get this to just post and then let us flash it.
That's a good one. is that throw this one on okay so now it's a bios I mean the other thing is, is it could literally be a this is not a, it's supposed to be gen 4 right so if this as long as this is gen 4 this shouldn't be a problem but we'll see This just needs to last long enough to flash the BIOS. Oops. Oh, I know what I can do if this doesn't work. Let's see if it's the motherboard. Oh, I don't know if that would work actually. Still not seeing a post. And we do know that the screens and stuff work. So that's a 50, that's a 3800 XT. I have one more thing I can try to see if it's a riser cable issue. And then that'll be the last thing we try. And then we'll call it a day. No, the night, I tried it without the night. We did it without the 90 degree adapter. I have one more thing I can try. Oh, it's posting. It posted. It posted. It is posted. I wonder why it's not showing up on the other screen. There it is, guys. It's alive. I don't know why it's not showing up on this screen, though. It's only showing up on one screen. It was there temporarily. Well, it did, it did post, and now it's not in the bios. I don't know what happened there. Unless it's, oh, there it goes again. Yeah, you guys are seeing it. There it is. So it is posted. There it is. Oh, and it's loading all the way into freaking Windows. So it is, it looks like we need to flash the BIOS. Okay, so hold on. Why is it not showing up on this screen, though? What's going on here? <clears throat> yeah, there's free things. We just haven't gotten there yet. Okay. Now, let us quickly... I think we'll be able to finish this build, guys. Grab this and this. Finish this build. Get it all the way to where it should be. Because I mean, if this post, then it was literally a. So it was a. It was a. It's definitely not the riser cable. It's been a pain for you to work with it, DJ. Okay. Well, at least we know it's not the riser cable and we know it's not the motherboard. It was literally a I need to flash the BIOS. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, and we need network. I think a lot of people ask, hey, what are the things you do to troubleshoot an issue? Well, you got to see it live on show. Okay. There we go. OK. 
Okay, so we went as rock, as rock. What is this? The Phantom Gaming ITX. Phantom Gaming ITX B550. Phantom Gaming. Oh, I'm not connected. Yes, I am. This does not have a freaking, oh geez. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to download it over here. This is why we have multiple PCs. B550 Gaming ITX, okay. Support. BIOS. Global. There it is. Okay, I need a USB. Do I have a USB? I don't think this one works for some reason. I don't think it does, but we'll see. I like keep trying this and it doesn't work. Uh, uh. We're gonna get there, guys. You guys are watching the whole process. This is this is a garbage. Okay, let me go grab a USB one sec, guys. Okay, so I've got the BIOS now. Latest BIOS. Let's do download. Okay, we're just copying the LAN driver real quick. So if I need to do anything else, I have the, I can do it on this machine. Two minutes, guys. What do you think I'm gonna have a good temp on an RTX 60 on the deep coal? Do you think I'm gonna have? I think so. I mean, we did, I think we did the Matrix 40 and the GPU temps on that were great. I think it's a good airflow case. Yeah. Build specs, uh, you have Brad Wallace, you can get the, they'll have the link. They'll put the link here in just a few minutes, guys. For the for the stuff. Ooh, I should come on this. Why is this not showing here? Because it gets all broken. Oh, there you go. There you go. We're just pulling the driver down real quick, guys. Copying it over. Be done in just a few minutes. 20 seconds. Best case for airflow is no case. I'm ready for a 4080 build, huh? <laughs> It's 
It's always like the slowest part. Like it's like, hey, I want to do this on on channel, but it's just yeah, it just takes a little bit of time. I didn't know this had an OS on it. Apparently, we had an OS on this. Whatever. What did we stick in this? Wait. Oh, it must have booted off the two terab. It must be on the. Uh, it must be on the. Uh, the two terabyte XPG must have an OS on it. It's kind of funny. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we have everything we need. BIOS updates. Let's go ahead and put this on here though real quick. Gonna install our, our land driver. So hopefully that should give us so that way if we have a problem again and I need to download something else, I'm not going back and forth, you guys. That's kind of whack. It's kind of whack. Wiggity wiggity whack. They take a few minutes, guys. Well, we have three cards. Oh, I can put this MSI card away. We don't need to use it. I think we'll go back to our fat, our, our Azrock, which I think will look the best. So we'll put this back. Okay, I have network connection now. Okay. There we go. Hit finish on that. Boom, boom. Okay, let's now. Restart and hit get to BIOS. How close are we to to the uh, the uh, the lights? Come on, baby. What's up, okay? There we go. Okay. We are now in there. Cool. Instant flash. Update. Yes. Okay. Now we're updating the updating the BIOS. If we're doing that. I can put away all these extra GPUs. Say it's still updating. You guys are getting to watch that. <clears throat> well, I put away some of this extra stuff that I've done. To... <clears throat> there we go. Put that GPU away. functification drive right here just all the stuff to get it set up luckily i mean the i this is the thing that i find frustrating right is like when you think about this stuff like like not everybody if they had to go through this like who has you know three gpus two cpus to make things happen you know what i mean it's always frustrating to do this stuff but luckily putting the build together is going to be pretty easy
but we're getting there. The, we're just gonna wait for the BIOS to finish updating, which will be great. And there we go, YouTube Gold Reach too, awesome. So we got that. Still got some giveaways to do as well. Oh, and that's, a, that's the end of two hour music. Update that there. Thanks for hanging around guys. I love doing this with you guys. I, do you guys find this fun? Like when we hit little, when we hit little issues like this and we troubleshoot it, it's always fun to do stuff like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's Shu Hadouken. Good. <clears throat> well, we got seven percent. I'll read some dad jokes. I promise. Uh, I don't. I don't. Um, I'm. Uh, I'm always nervous during a flash. So I like to pay attention. Okay, so there we go. It says programming success. Okay, here we go. So the BIOS should be updated now. Which means after this, we'll rip this down and put the new CPU back in. Okay, the BIOS did take, we are posted again. Saw it flash, that's a good sign. Come on, baby. There's ASRock. Man, this is like, oh, it's going through the whole process right now. One more time. I see screen. Last time it took a while to boot up though too. There it goes. Now you're obviously getting stuff there. Yeah. And there we go. We are into Windows. And so we have a BIOS and a PC. We have a PC that is now ready. Like saying, hey, let's whatever. Okay, so we're there, we're good there. Shut it down. Okay, so now, let's put this one away, this GPU away. The top down. And then get the, we'll test this just one more time with the new CPU. And then if that works, then we'll put it all back together. Okay, I'll need some of this. needed enough to basically Yeah, we needed a CPU to we needed a we needed a we needed a CPU a BIOS update to update to get the CPU to work. So we put a 3800 put a 3800 XT in there real quick. And I'm just cleaning that off. Okay, so that's clean. Okay. Let's grab. What is it? Wait. There we 
There we go. Okay, now we'll put our 5900X back in there. Fifty nine fifty X, sorry. Okay, there we go. Okay, 5950X is clean again. Okay, there we go. So that's clean. There we go, we'll get that back clean. Okay, and then we got a very even. Okay, nice even coverage of thermal paste. Okay. Oh shoot, I was like, what the heck? Okay, there we go. Now we have a reinstalled 5950X. Cool, new thermal paste, clean. Okay, now we can just test real quick. And if this works, We'll put it all back together. Okay.
Okay. This should work. Latest BIOS. Waiting. Giving it a minute. Last time it took a while. Yep, it posts. Guys, it posts. There we go. It is going through its cycle now. Just waiting. One second. Come on, baby. Finish it out. Get the windows, and then I'll finish the build again. You guys should see it here in a second. It takes the, this is always like a process. Okay, I think. There you guys go. Now you guys can see it. There it is. We've got a posted build now. Come on, let's wear some hype. We troubleshooted the whole thing. That's just going through the windows and all that sort of stuff. And so we're good there. We're back to windows now. Now we're gonna put the real dry, now put the real CPU in. Okay, let's put the real GPU in. Yeah. Okay, now, top down. And now we can put all this stuff away and just get the build back to where it was. So it was what I thought it was, which is like, which is not good. The best, it's the best of all cases. Unfortunately, it was like a take the build, you know, take the build apart. But we did, definitely showed how quick it is to sh uh, switch a CPU in this build. Okay. Okay, now let's put this away. By 3060. Thank you, you were useful. back go okay 30 60s back away it's gotta keep my my space clear. It's gonna always messes with me. Okay. Mm. 
And now we don't need this. This will be plug into the normal card. Okay, here we go. Now what we need to do, first thing, put this back in. So we have our floor again. There's that. This screwed back on. Okay. Okay, so that's all good. Turn this off real quick. Now, all this stuff out of the way. Okay, so now, let's grab this. Grab the actual GP we're using now. There's that one. There's that, all plugged in again. Okay, our card is seated. I just need to get this in here. Push that down later. Shoot, how'd that come out? Okay, now we got that locked in. There we go. And right there. Okay. They did make this much easier to work with with bigger GPUs with this little swing door. I mean, it's been a little bit of a pain in the butt, but I'll be honest, man, that swing door, this swing door is pretty awesome. Okay. Last three screws in and then we'll put in our... Bag bracket. Okay. 
All the screws are in now. Now I just need to put in the sag bracket to get that fixed and then we'll turn it back on. Okay, build is fixed again. Try it one more time. Okay, here we go, guys. Shoot. And there it is, again. What, 20, 30 minutes later? A little too high. A little fix here. Made it a little too high. That looks better, right? That's better. Okay, let's see if it posts. We've done all that we should, if we can, for this poor build. There we go. Let's get some hype. Thank you very much, Darkening97 Darkening is the one who gave me the most hype with his one month sub. Thank you very much, man. Got the build to post. Oh, I guess not yet. This is the final hardware test. Here we go. Hopefully we get some hype for this, guys. Okay, here we go. Almost 800 people watching. Final thing, is it gonna work? We've, we've completely... Here we go. Okay, it may not spin. We saw none of the AMD ones do that, so it may not spin. But we will see if it posts. No, oh, it's fun. Look at that. And it posted. There it is. It is spinning and it is posting, guys. Five gifted sub from bags. Taking us up to 112. And there you go, guys. It is posted. It is up. It is working. Everything is as it should be right there. That looks great. I think the build itself came out great. And I think this card just what makes it looks really cool with like the RGB in the center. And then we've got some RGB poking from the bottom. Like the RGB that you're seeing at the bottom is actually from um, this RGB uh, NVMe at the bottom here. So again, I'm not going to put RGB. I wasn't going to put the RGB strip in because I wanted to see. I want to. We may actually add uh, Noctua fans at the bottom um, just to give them a test. Um, but right now we're just basically, uh, but in terms of the build, the build is basically up and running. Um, and that you guys got to see it in the end and because like we had to basically uh, do a little test. Okay guys. Well, I think now is, let me put this over. I'll, I'll get you guys nice close up and then we'll start our giveaways. looks like we got uh, both the 250 gig NVMe giveaways as well, which is cool. And then uh, we'll give away. Also, the uh, looks like we're gonna give away a hundred dollar new A gift card, which is cool. Uh, put this over here. We'll set it up so you guys can get a good close look at it. There we go. Ooh. Set this up like this. Get you guys a good close up while we do the giveaways. Get you guys some good camera view here. There's our little build. Kind of dark. If I can get like, like a better light. 
Uh, there we go. There you go. Okay, got some light on it. So we'll do the side camera there. There you go, nice little view of the whole thing so you can see what it looks like. <clears throat> I do read chat, birthday, how are you? Okay, let's start the giveaway though, CloudBot giveaways. Okay, so the first one is gonna be for two 250 gig NVMe SSDs. So starting that giveaway right now, she's gonna draw two winners. Our faithful friend, Mrs. Uh, Blondie but Geeky. Yeah, don't spam, guys. It only takes two entries. There you go. Two minutes. That was fun. That was a fun build. Well, I got, well, like That was like an end-to-end -end build, you know? Like ending with... Actually ending with the... Like the build with an OS on it, which I just does because we happen to have an OS on it, but not on purpose, but yeah. I wish we could have gotten to the, 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 I wish we could have gotten to, uh, doing some, uh, it's very, it's got a little bit of a Star Wars feel to it, you know? The overall, like how it looks and stuff like that. Looks good, and I'm not into the small form factor. Yeah, it's it's like a nice case, and it's it's actually the the GPU ended up matching really. Yeah, Tony Stark, a little bit Tony Stark. Yeah, you could turn it into a a Tony Stark build, like his chest. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It actually like the whole thing. Like I didn't plan it, but the like even the the fact that it it has that like the fact that the GPU matches uh, the colors of the actual case actually and is really cool. Okay, guys, 28 seconds left. Yeah, mother, yeah. Hal, Hal, what are you doing, Hal? Why did you flash my bios, Hal? Oh, Bags took it from B Dar. B Darge, he just took your B Darge, he took your top. He Bags was like, nope, I'm gonna be number one. Wow, that was a nice command. What's the idle temp? Uh I don't have I'd have to throw Ida on there. I can't do that, John. He goes, I know. After like you had number one till the end. Bags was like, nope, I'm going to take it. Okay, giveaways ended, guys. Uh, we got two winners. Ken Kennison over on YouTube. Ken Kennison over on YouTube. And Mad Dugan over on Twitch. Ken Kennison over on YouTube. And Mad Dugan over on Twitch. Congratulations, you two. You are the winners of the two NVMe SSDs. Okay. Okay, let's bring up uh, next giveaway. Uh, is going to be for a one hundred get one hundred dollar Newegg gift card. Huge shout out to Newegg for being such an incredible sponsor of the show. Uh, entry for this is going to be exclamation point Newegg now. Make sure I spell that right. Exclamation point Newegg now. Yep. And we're going to start it right now. This is for a hundred dollar Newegg gift card. Starting that giveaway right now. Two minutes, guys. Hey guys, so while we're going in there, a couple housekeeping items. Uh, tomorrow at noon, we're back with tech for the weekend, tech deals for the weekend. So we're back, it's gonna be an Amazon live stream. Uh, so that's gonna be happening tomorrow, starting at noon, noon to about 1, 1.30. Uh, and then we have a new video launching also tomorrow at noon uh, on how to pick the parts for any, um, how to pick the parts for content creation PC. So like best CPU memory and GPUs for Adobe Premiere, Photoshop, all that sort of stuff. So we've got that coming out at noon tomorrow. Uh, then we're back on Saturday for another live build, building an incredible PC, all white Lee and Lee, 
RTX 3090. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. It's got streamers and everything, so it's gonna be a hefty build. That's starting at one o'clock on Saturday. Should go till about four or five. So that'll be a lot of fun on Saturday. And then, uh, then nothing on Sunday, and then back on Monday uh, for another build. Uh, I'm trying to remember, I think it's a Corsair 5000D build on Monday. Um, so, whoa, yay, big surprise. But yeah, doing that sort of stuff as well. And then we've got a couple other uh, cool cases and stuff like that coming up as well. So it should be a lot of fun. Um, and then, uh, then the new week. Now the new stream schedule, if you go to twitch.tv slash robitech slash schedule, you guys can see uh, the new schedule that's happening. There's a stream basically every week but Sunday, uh, which should be a lot of fun. Plus, we have three videos a week now. We have the Razer laptop, sorry, the Razer book, the AMD edition. That review is coming out on Sunday. So if you want to check that out, that should be also a really good video if you're looking for a potential gaming laptop. Um, so yeah, lots of content coming out. Also, make sure you follow us on Instagram, TikTok. There's a bunch of stuff there. Uh, we release new reels, all that sort of stuff. I think we have one that's almost at a million now, uh, which has been a lot of fun. Um, five seconds left, then we're gonna draw our winner. And then uh, we are gonna raid somebody. Uh, I'm probably just gonna choose somebody who's on the friends list. Uh, one of the things I've been trying to do, I, what I'd like to do is if you have somebody you'd like to raid uh, who's family friendly and probably fits more of our stuff, I've gotten some feedback about some of the people we've raided, so we're gonna be a little bit more cautious about the rating. I, I meant to talk to Blondie about that. Um, so anyway, today we'll probably find somebody else to raid and go from there um, and uh, and go and, and move on. But uh, for now, guys, uh, let's pick our winner. Oh, she picked the winner. I don't know who won. Oh, Havantis. Congrats, Havantis. You are the winner. Congratulations, uh, Havantis. Um, and so uh, congratulations to you. And it's not family friendly. There's just been some people who've kind of been over the line. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we'll, we'll be a little bit more picky. And that doesn't necessarily, some of them like COVID, things like that, I'm, I'm okay with just because they're longtime friends, but uh, we're gonna go from there. Um, let me find out who I'm gonna raid now. And let's see what we got. Let's see what we got for tonight. We're gonna raid, well, Jay, I'm not gonna do. Coven's raiding. Oh, let's do Gigabit. We haven't done, so let's do Brittany. It's been a while. Oh, we could do Brittany or Margo. Let's do Margo. We'll do Margo tonight. Uh, she's been a lot of fun. So we're gonna raid Margo Brooks. For those of you who don't remember who Margo is, Margo was the one who I did Mod Monday with. Uh, really, really cool person. Uh, a lot of fun. It should be a lot of fun um, and a great raid. Anyway, guys, have a great night. And we will see you tomorrow for deals. Bye, guys. who I'm playing with is in Masters, because she's a badass. <laughs> who should I ban? Not gonna. Ban. Uh, whoa, Brand, okay. All right. Ha <laughs> ha, Bane. I mean, I do hate playing against him, so. Mm. Especially bottom, it makes me really angry when I have to play against him. I mean, could it be worse than Jonathan? Good. Roby, thanks for the sub too. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Ban me, my queen. My queen. My queen. Please ban me. Me. <laughs> it was a hiccup. <laughs> did, you, did you already eat? No. Did you still eat at like late, late night? Yeah, I I don't have any food though, so I'm eating a um, my neighbor made cardamom and cinnamon buns, like a cinnamon roll. Oh. I'm trying really? it. Oh shit, this is so good! Wow. Mmm, really good. I'm glad that you can eat that. I don't know when I eat it. I just I don't know. 
job of the hut. Oh, come on. Yeah, right. Fu it's fucked up. Will Don't I play a cat? Then. so much for all the gifted stuff. Thank you, thank you. I'm, Bags I'm PR1, man. thank you so much. I really wow. appreciate that. I'm pretty good right now. I can't believe it. Thank you. <gasps> thank, thank you. So nice of you. Wow, so generous. Conquer. Minus. This bank. Not again, Bags. Thank you. No. That's so nice of you, Bags. Thank you very much. Sorry, I'm an awful jerk. 